Stop. Small Boo Animation Studio. Turn this down a tad. Sounds good though. I'm gonna turn it down a smidge. Sorry, I can hear myself, but hey, welcome to a new playthrough. Later, Alligator. I saw the trailer for this a little while ago, and I immediately wanted to play just because I love animation. It's heavily animated. I haven't done a point-and-click game in a while. I liked those too, so it's like a perfect mismatch. I don't really have anything for alligators, but it seems interesting enough. I like this hand, hand icon. <laughs> okay, I see family badges, puzzle pieces. We got some fancy shoes, some gloves, some mint condition, a knife. <clears throat> okay. Interesting menu screen. Now, I did get started uh, just for a split second. I don't know if I can, like, I didn't do anything. I just hit new game to see what would happen when I was testing to make sure my stream setup worked and I could have my windows on top. But, uh, yeah, th this is the beginning of the game. We seem to be playing the business alligator here. That's all I. No, at the moment. I don't know if we can like. I won't go to main. We'll just, we'll just get out of here. There you go. Then so we got this dude sitting here. Let's see the kitchen. And I don't know if I need to be aware of any buttons other than my mouse. Looks like I can only talk to him. Pat. Pat doesn't want company. No company, please. Thank you. Can I sit by you? Can I pester you some more? <laughs> no hoblos English. No hoblos Espanol. No hoblos at all. Not even one hoblo. Speaking pretty good English there, man. No, I will not move on. I must speak with thee. Okay, you got me. I'll come clean. Sorry for being so rude before. I'm just a little on edge. Normally, I wouldn't tell anyone this, but you've got such soulful eyes. I can totally see the entirety of, so I, I feel safe with you, stranger. Come clean to me, Pat. We're friends now. Tell me what's on your mind. Why are you fidgeting like that? Usually, I love coming to John Johnny's on my birthday like this. Is that where we are? John Johnny's. Staying in the hotel, floating in the pool, eating two bagels at the Continental Breakfast, eating two soaps in the complimentary bath basket. You know, those soaps, man. The finest of delicacies. This year, I got a problem. A real big problem. A real, real big uh, problem. It's panicking. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the family's finally trying to rub me out for squealing. The family? I don't mean to squeal, honest. I just see a pair of earnest eyes and the secrets just start flowing out of my snoot. See? I'm doing it right now. I know you're telling a complete stranger your woes and I, I could be part of the family. I got a knife in this bag, man. You don't know that, but I know that. Oh, cheese and crackers. <laughs> what am I going to do? I don't want to be rubbed out. Everybody needs a good rubbing out. 
Tuton Tony even told me I have to meet him upstairs here at HR for the event. They think I don't know, but I heard him talking to Big Mama on the phone. The whole family's gonna come to really show me how it's done. So I don't know if he's talking about a mafia thing or if he just has a very inventive imagination. Maybe he's just having a bar mitzvah. What am I going to do? I don't want to sleep with the fishies. I have a shellfish allergy. And my asthma acts up when I get too waterlogged. You're an alligator, man. Let's slap him in the face. Get a hold of yourself. I'm interested in you, right? Whoa, coming on strong there. Let's start with friendship first. You want to sit with me for breakfast and everything. Do you think you could help me? These are such great pals. You could go out and talk to my family around Alligator New York City. You know we just met each other. Find out information about the event and report back to me. You gonna pay me for this job? Why are we here at this restaurant anyway? This is a great idea. Together, maybe we can collect enough info to save me. The little sudden pat. You wanna save me, right? Right! Great, I'll text to you if I need any help. Do I have a phone? I do, great. I didn't catch that last bit of dialogue. Text a little before 10 a.m. since it can take 15 minutes or so to get back here on the trolley. Oh boy, is there a time limit? Make sure you check your watch a bunch. You happen to get stuck doing some weird game-like activities while investigating. It could take time. Time I don't have because I'm going to have a murder done on me. <laughs> okay. Take the beach pad. Remember what Doctor Doofle Snoot told you. Why don't you just run away, man? I guess you can't run away from all your problems. Anyways, thank you so much for helping out an alligator like me. I really feel better just looking at your super kind, visible face. And before the game is one of those like next level ones where it's taking pictures of you through your webcam. Be careful we're out there. The last thing we need is two people sleeping with the fishies. <laughs> That's Pat. That's Pat, alright. Need to find a double bed in this economy. See you later, friends. Stay safe. So I have a time limit? 8 o'clock. Phone dial. I like that. Oh, it clicked on him. Even though I'm looking at my watch. Uh, hello, esteemed guest. What's up, bub? You're looking to leave the restaurant. You'll have to use the exit up there in the corner of the screen. Ah. You provide all the patrons with an exit arrow and complimentary pillow mints. Feel free to use both outside of our fine establishment to exit and much as you wish. Just don't mix the two up since that arrow is vintage. And then they contain harmful materials such as lead paint, asbestos, and a combination of rat poisons and cilantro. That should be illegal to produce. Please feel free to visit us again here at Johnny John's. John Johnny's. Have a Johnny of a day. <coughs> I imagine he's not as stilled as I made him sound. Okay, is there anything else I can click on? Got anything else to say, Mr. Bub? Welcome. How about you? You later, friends. Stay safe. Okay, I take it. I am. Uh, you do like cilantro? I don't know if I've had cilantro. We have a title sequence. This week, click and drag up and down. Is that telling me how to play? Oh shit, that's genius. John Johnny's Hotel. So I need to remember to come back here just before 10 in the morning or at night? John Johnny's Restaurant Cafe. We've got Adelie, these are okay. We've got some dude who looks like a swindler out here. Rodiga, alligator store. I'm just gonna take in the sights. I guess I have to click on uh the dude that's out here, because I don't see my icon letting me do anything else. Look, Mickey. Hey, bub, you got a minute? Perhaps three minutes? I ain't above asking for five. I ain't above it. You gonna ask for five minutes, too? I saw you walking out. John Johnny's over there, and I says to myself, Mickey, you gotta talk to that mysterious stranger. 
A vision in pinstripes, they is. I ain't trying to fluff you up or nothing, but you look like an alligator of exceptional taste. As well as one might like to dabble in high stakes games of chance and intrigue, if you feel me. I feel you, Slick. No, don't actually feel me, I got a skin condition. Call me Slick for a reason, and according to my doc, it ain't going away unless I start using that topical cream at night. Well, I ain't gotta listen to some jabroni with a smarty certificate, you know what I'm saying? All my smarts come from the street. I haven't seen jabroni said in a while. This is also where I got the skin condition and my impolite lower back tattoo. Impolite? Where am I from? Like, actually, where am I from? The United States. Narrowing it down, Delaware. That's about as much narrowed down as I'll go, though. Whom pat the event? Whom? The name's Mickey. Everyone calls me the old king of the cards. Well, that one guy did before he yelled at a fence stop stealing his email passwords. Okay, so we do have technology. Obviously. Then his pants fell down. Then he fell down! Into an open manhole. You're an alligator, how do you fit in a manhole? Why do you call it a manhole? We're all alligators. I have it on good authority from the paramedics. They only call three or five other people that. So, bada bing! The old card king at your service. Oh! Alright, Pat. I'm talking about Pat the alligator. Do you know of any other alligators named Pat and Mr. Slick Mickey? Yeah, I know that dude pretty well. He's my second cousin. Is everyone going to be in this family? One time when we was kids, us guys got locked out of CCD at the recess and Miss Juice and Cookie Time. We only had one granola bar between us and good old Pat gave me the bigger half. I'll always remember that. No! I ain't crying! I just spit in my own eyes as a display of my street toughness. I won't put two. Yo, tell me about the event. Oh ho, you know about the event, eh? Well, looky here, bub. It's a real secret affair, you dig? Ain't nobody supposed to be going and telling Pat about it. My lips are sealed just like they're sealed when I wake up after a night of nose only breathing. <laughs> what? That one caught me off guard. <laughs> maybe those, maybe. Play a little game with Mickey here, my lips might loosen up. I think you can keep an eye on this flurry of fingies and find the queen. Mini games! Keep an eye on the cards. Three card Mickey. Hey, no problem, you're free to ask. <laughs> I don't know what I think about Gator New York yet. I, uh, we're just getting started here. I need more time. Mickey's running a street scam. Keep an eye on the queen and pick the correct card to foil his plans. He's gonna scam me, though. Alright, get your peepers peeled because these hands are about to become a hurricane. See here. Keep your eyes on the lady. Where's she gonna go? Where's she gonna go? <laughs> it's like a kid <laughs> shuffling the cards, but I have a feeling he actually switched it. Oh yeah, oh, okay, so he tells you. Oh, body language. Did I just incinerate that? <laughs> Well, I guess I'll never know who won. Who knows which way the wind blows or something. Ah, <laughs> uh, looks like uh, the game days I won anyway. I got a family member badge. Oh, jeez. Anyways, about the event. Well, you ain't heard it from me, but I hear it's gonna be a real fair to remember. The whole family's been talking about it for months. Pat's really gonna get his, if you know what I'm saying. I already feel like the kid's not gonna get murdered. Anyways, thanks for playing. Let me know if you need any of my city smarts while you're out there, rookie. Try not to lick any trolley handrails if you can help it. So, 
We still have trolleys, but we have email too. Those dermatology copays are a real kicking alligator pants, you feel me? Oh! When do I get to meet that guy? Trolley ain't here yet, so why don't you just go check out the arcade? I think he got banned for his slick fingers gumming up the machines and causing an epidermis epidemic. That ain't mean you gotta suffer the same fate. Oh! Ah, walk icon. Alright, so far a little linear, but what else will that do its thing? Um, hello. Do I hit OK? It's by chance your first time in Alligator, New York City. I mean in the city city, not um, Alligator, Long Island or something. It is, who's this? I thought so. Oh, um, you don't know me. I'm sorry if that's weird at a start. If you'd like, I could text you some tips. The city's really big and has a lot of colorful secrets that I wouldn't want you to miss on your first visit. Is it okay if I help you out from time to time? Sure. Ah, oh, great. I'm sure to text again soon. Okay. Alright, thanks. Strangers got my phone number. Street Kiter 2? I'm gonna be stuck here at this arcade machine all day. We got Vampire Punter D. We got Slick number 2. Arcade. Got some uh, ski ball. Looks like I can. I don't know if that's. Looks like I can play ski ball. Claw school. Someone back there. Was this train? I don't know what this is a parody of. We got a dude over there. We got pool players. We got someone in the background here. Alright, who do we do first? I'm gonna do this person. My mom is always on my case, like, already go outside and talk to the other alligators. Already stop hiding behind various types of curtains and outside home. Alright, already. Bonnie, take the shot, Rocco. Hold your horses, Bonnie. I'm lining up my stick. You gotta be delicate with these things. Oh, I've been holding my horses. I've been cradling my horses. I've enveloped my horses in the safety of a tender, meaningful embrace all night, waiting for you to take the shot, Rocco. How <laughs> come you never hold it like that, Bon? I just want to see, does he say anything else? Oh, okay, I should talk to them multiple times. I'm supposed, I'm supposed to not hide behind various types of curtains in and outside our home. That's what you say. What do you think I am, Mom? God? Oh, jeez. I need a... Rick and Morty. Morty voice. I'm gonna turn the music down a tad. I like the music. It's fun to hear. Alright. What else you got? It's just two rules if you want to rack up the game with me. Be cool, shoot pool, and stay in school. And don't bring up how I never learned to count. Alright. Ah, that's the third game I lost in a row. Too good at this, Bond. I know. Come on, what's the secret? Muscle, hustle, and muscle. Muscle. My holistic dentist, after he screams in my mouth to soft jazz. We hit up the pool hall down, I'm like, what the fuck is your dentist doing? <laughs> huh? Comfortable with myself. Alright, everyone should be like Bonnie. Get your dentist to scream hot jazz in your mouth. Why do we always gotta come here? This place is a dump. You didn't have to come, Rocco. No way. Only thing worse than being in the dump is not being invited to the dump to begin with. Like you're too trashy for the other trash, which is unnervingly close to an entry from my dream journal last week. Okay. A grown man can't come to a children's arcade to unwind by hitting things with a stick and yelling swears. What kind of alligator country are we living in? Honestly, it looks more like an adult's arcade at the moment. Well, no one's smoking. Back! Hey, cool on that kind of talk, Rocco. This kid in here. Dang, you're right. Hey, what did I just say? Alright. PG 13, I need to tone it down, I think. 
You can kill Pat with kindness. <laughs> Does Pat deserve to be killed with kindness? Lines up my shot. Alright, it's done. Joni. Not sure what Joni's supposed to be. Hey, are you up for a real challenge? I haven't seen you here before, Stranger Alligator. New York City is a big place. Oh, Alligator New York City is a big place. We tend to have regulars, you know. Like Rocco and Bonnie over there, those two are here every day, but you? I remember such a visible face like yours. Yeah, I've been told I'm stunning already. Ah, look at me being a real jerk. I don't mean to be giving you a hard time or nothing. I've just been a little frazzled since last night. I had a dream that I was a ski ball and some sticky fingered kid kept throwing me into the 10 point hole. Go for the 50 dingus, I tried to yell, being a ball and all ding dong couldn't hear me. Woke up in a cold sweat in my kitchen, systematically throwing individual oranges from the window into my neighbor's terrarium. People have fascinating lives. This is what it's like to be a New Yorker. <clears throat> I mean, seriously, if I reflect upon my own life that I've lived, nothing nearly as dramatic as what the past four characters have had going on. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part is truly fascinating. Vitamin C would have helped me shake it off, but I, all I had for breakfast was black coffee and a half can of leftover candy cigarettes. Alright, who are you? Name's Joni or Baloney. You're my fourth grade bully, come back to fight me. No, you're not right. Sam? Anyway, I work here. Oh, I'm Sam? I'm Sam. Anyway, I work here at Adelaide's Arcade. Sweeping floors and keeping all the games running smooth as a baby's bomb behind. You're an alligator. I don't know if I would use the word bomb to describe your species. I used to work as a greaser in a shop downtown, but what was that? I can talk about this? Is there anything else I should be aware of? Hold on. I got distracted by this. I used to work as a greaser shop downtown. That's close to my gaming hobby. Let me keep the leather jacket though. And the company hairstyle. Okay, I can't seem to click on this. I don't know why this text bubble, speech bubble appears. Alright, Pat. Who, oh, who's Pat? Pat's your cousin. Oh yeah, Pat's the dude who's gonna die. Also the most genuine doof I know, so you better be nice to him, you hear? I wouldn't want to have to pop you one. Told I got a mean look left hook. And a mean look. And a moderately insulting right hook. And a kick that could benefit from some anger management courses. Tried to sign it up for some calming hot yoga at the Yaka. It didn't go over well. You ever get kicked by your own leg? Ain't great, bud. <sighs> Ain't great. Yeah, I can't say I have, my man. You guys are very chatty. Very sociable. What can you tell me about the event, Joni? Look, I know you're here spying for Pat for whatever reason, that's fine, but I can't tell your family secrets, you feel me? Give up info that hot, you'd have to really impress me. I want to know why... We even came to the restaurant in the first place, because it didn't seem like Pat hired us. We just like showed up and okay, let's help Pat figure out what's going on. I got nothing better to do with my life. What do you think you can? You roll the ball, old timer? Talking pinball, not ski ball. You don't roll the ball on pinball, my man. The old penny B, as I like to call it, against the advice of both my friends, family, and the support therapist I see on Thursdays. Man, this guy's got problems. Can, can relate. Got the highest score on Lizard Wizards here, eight months running. I'm always looking for a real pinhead to pit my skills against. What do you say? Care to take on a pinball lizard like me? I like that pinball lizard wizard. I didn't mean to make a joke, I take this very seriously. The old Penny B. Beat their score, go for more. Yeah, sure, why not? 
Click the plunger, launch the pinball, and balls in play. Control the flippers by clicking R and L. Use left and right on the keyboard. 5,000 points. Cobra. Cob. Cobra. Cobra Cobra. I would never be in the pinball because I hate pinball default. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Allocations aren't lizards technically. That's true. Oh, here it is. Oh, where's my other catchphrase? Darkness will prevail. Alright. Hells yeah. Playing some pinball today. I don't know what I'm aiming for. But I'm about to fucking destroy this noob score. Shit. Got wrecked. Okay, we got four balls. I guess a thousand points is pretty good. I would immediately not play on this pinball machine if it's designed like that. That's a flaw. <laughs> Penny B's your rap name. What's up, Penny B? What's your hot single? Every rapper's got a hot single. Man, this game is hard. I'm not even. I don't think I'm doing anything poorly. <laughs> The ball just keeps sliding out the back of the thing. Okay, that was my fault. I could've hit that. Oops! 15 minutes. Yeah, I'm impressing this bitch. I'm really curious about this time limit feature. I don't know how long this game is. It's like a really short experience or what? I looked nothing up in advance. Please stop doing that. <laughs> That's so cruel. Cruel. And we're dead. Game's rough, man. Looks like I'm spending all my time on pinball. Don't fall out the sides. I'm trying to get it back into that like 500 point thing. There you go. That's that's the, the bunny's at. All right, we beat their score. I only used 15 minutes. Game is legit hard. The ball just keeps going out the side like that. <laughs> <laughs> Got a family member badge. Oh, jeez! We got another badge! Hey, it's been a long time since I've seen reads like that in front of the lizard wizards here. Get the ball hitting all the two quarts and who's it so fast. So fast. I can barely keep up. It's been a real honor to hang with another student of the pinball arts. You need to clean up that cup, man. I thought you like the janitor here. Oh, jeez! About the event, now this might just be a rumor, but word on the street, there's gonna be some sick games there. Not pinball per se, but you know, you take what you can get. Anyway, that's all I can really say. I better get back on the grind, try and beat my last high score. Yo, Joni, you trying to play some fucking alligator fighter 2 over there? <laughs> just show me your supple wrist pinhead. Catch you later. I don't know. Never mind. There's a lot I don't know. I can investigate Vampire Hunter D. Oh, I just got a puzzle piece for that. I'm just curious, can I keep doing this and get like uh, the 50? Or will it always be 20? Anything else I should be aware of? Ooh. There's like 48 puzzle pieces, we already have three. I guess the game won't be that long. Gangsta Gators Gal Galavanting featuring Kevin Kaiman. Nice, you got a featured artist with you. 
Wanna we'll play Vampire Hunter Hunter D, man? All right, we got four puzzle pieces. We got another dude back here. No one else. Back here. Sweet Geraldine. Hey up there, long arms. You got a sec. My suit. What's the fancy reptile like you doing at the back of the arcade? I don't know how to do it, kid. I know what you're after. That's right. I've got you pegged just by looking at you. Want cold, hard, plush? Well, you found the right alley gate, Warren. I've got a job that I'll pay for both of our retirements and poorly made stuffies. I'm listening, little girl. You might see a humble claw machine. This is a vault. We're gonna break in. Well, we can't just walk in, though. There's countermeasures. Sometimes Norma, the security guard, comes by and says, I'm not allowed to put my claw chair into the aisle. Without the boost, not tall enough to work the claw. Oh, you're gonna have to get a little older, I suppose. Didn't your parents tell you not to talk to strangers dressed in pinstripe seats? Coin thief machine. Wallet <laughs> fun. Ah, uh, the humor that's written around, I appreciate. <laughs> you see behind here? That's one ailing power strip juicing up every one of these babies. I didn't pay attention to what she said. I was like looking for secrets and shit. One wrong move in, pinball. And boom. Place lights up like my chemistry teacher's hair when I turn that Bunsen burner too high. Who are you, girl? I'm going around these parts as Sweet Geraldine, criminal mastermind of the claw machine. You haven't heard of me? Honestly, I'm not surprised. I leave no fingerprints and Johnny Law doesn't have a clue. Or Johnny Boyer from my geography class. At least that's what he said when I asked him to spring flame. Damn, rejected. He said, who you? I feel bad for her now. Pat's a patsy, but not my patsy, that's for sure. He's related to some of my dad's friends. One time at dad's show, Pat pulled the fire alarm because he thought someone was trying to set him on fire. Turns out he just had a warm piece of pizza in his pocket. I went to find him for almost an hour until the firefighters pulled him out of the concert hall's crawl space. He was covered in spiders and had eaten the pizza, but was otherwise unharmed. Physically, anyway. Yeah, I'm sure he was mentally <laughs> destroyed. The guy's pretty weird. The little girl who's not related to Pat, do you happen to know about the event? Nah, I'd love to tell you about the event. I really would. This is our first time on the job together, Mac. You haven't yet earned my unbridled trust. Alright. Maybe we can come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. Claw machine, it's a two-man operation. I need someone who's not gonna sell me down the river for additional prizes when plush comes to shove, you feel me? I couldn't even imagine if a little girl is like trying to get me to play a claw game just so she can get some damn plush. What do you say, old timer? One last claw machine score, the big one. Yeah, I'll play. Grab the prizes as she advises. Follow Sweet Geraldine's instructions. I should have checked my clock. I don't know how much time is going by already. Get the perfect claw machine prize. Click left and right. Control the crane when you're ready to grab. Click the center button. Here she is, the big case dealer, the mother load. Inside this vault of a treasure trove of prizes. I have my own a couple of choice goods, but I need an accomplice with nerves of steel and hands of steel. Tall passy like you can push the buttons and see the prizes. You're on your chair. You're, I know they said whatever. What do you say? Get some cute loots for our cute snoots. First should warm up your tricky digits. Grab me any prize that catches your eye. Go on, old timer. Show me what you got. Looks like Doraemon. Got a big ED bar. Got some keys. Got GBRZ. G 
Gators, Gators, G A R Z, Gators C D. Okay, we got some rap albums in here. Where's yours at, Gishfood? <laughs> got some diamonds and stuff. I guess I don't know what the key is used for, but the key is the most appealing thing. And we've also got a meat wad over here. I can't go further, right? Oh, I was about to say, I just grabbed like everything. Let's check the slot. OMGs, this is going to be just like the Secret Garden. By the time I stole the lady down the street's carabine, carabiner, break into her house and pet her spoosh face cat pepperoni. Girl's involved in some high class crime. You know, one of those two. You got some chops, I respect that. But now the real job begins. <clears throat> How will you react when the pressure's on? It's time you follow my lead. Give me that cool ring with the three gems. There's something about it. What do you want? Ah. Oh. Well, fuck me, I guess. Look at her face filled with disgust. I wonder if I'll hear the ocean if I put this to my ear. The climate change is causing ocean acid acidification. Bummer. Yeah, she doesn't care just like the rest of society. Here's another quarter. Could you try again? As long as you're paying for it, girl, I'll play the game, I guess. I have never won a Crane Game Prize because, you know, I know how they work and I've never gotten lucky enough to play when it's guaranteed to make the claw grip strength stronger. You only sell on vinyl. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Feels kind of evilly. Every time I touch it, I can hear the voices of a thousand dark kings beckoning me to avenge the falling eldritch lords of the past. How old are you? Never resting? Something like that? You're really good at this. It's finally time for the big score. I can see in your eyes, you're ready to get the ultimate prize. Give me the doll from the best and most awesome video game franchise of all time, Final Friend City. Uh, it's Final Fantasy. <laughs> it took me a moment. It's a dreamy one. The spiky hair, that is it. Big one. You, you sure you don't want the Batman figure? Jimmy one with spiky hair, it's Cloud over there, I see it. Man, I don't know how I'm gonna RNG you Cloud, do you see where he's fucking positioned? No, I didn't get it. Don't get me wrong, I'll eat the bugs, it's not what I wanted. You gotta pay another quarter, girl. Oh, there's a puzzle piece! Oh, it only costs 15 minutes, right? Hey, we got the puzzle piece. Did you get the ultimate prize? You can have this, I get the feeling it'll come in handy later. Oh, jeez. Rick. Thanks. Alright, uh, that didn't cost me a retry, or it did, I don't know. So you're a Cloud fanboy, I wonder what the letter says actually. Kinda hope we get the letter and then Cloud. God damn it. <laughs> How are you supposed to get Cloud? He's just way in the corner. Bye man, I haven't seen this guy in a while. I come over the house. I don't know what that was referencing. I can still see the prize I want. Here's another quarter. Could you try again? You better insert some sort of cheat code. Nope. Well, at least I get to see the letter. My dearest Fifth William, I cannot help my mind wandering to the softness of your scales and the sharpness of your teeth. Um, gross. This is actually too PG-13 for a PG age gator like me. That's the gator talking about the Eldritch Lords. Bad news, old timer. That was my last quarter. <laughs> Sucks for you. 
Oh, well, I guess, you know what? I don't care if she doesn't get the doll. She can come back tomorrow. Guess now I'll have to explore the library or take part in municipal team sports to pass my time. <laughs> Hey, it's me, Pat. The alligator? One with the hat. Hello, Pat. It's almost ten. Can you come back? Someone came over to my table and threatened me. Well, he gave me a coupon and told me to have a nice day. But that could mean anything. Got one free tomato soup. Pretty good. Actually, I don't like tomato soup. Unless it's got a ton of extra shit in it to make it taste like something that's not just tomato. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, free coupon? I'm on my way! Free coupon? I didn't have a choice. Okay, so I guess that was just giving us a taste of things. This is 9.45. What do you want, Pat? Ah, don't bop me. Uh, oh, it's just you, my new friend. Sorry, I saw your shadow over me. Some kind of restaurant assassin was descending from the rafters to take me out. I know there's no rafters here, but assassins are tricky. They can improvise. Didn't you have dare when you were in elementary school? You know, dare, dude, assassins really exist. At least, I think that's the acronym. I was absent a lot due to my nut allergy. It's tough times for Pat at Willie's Peanut Butter Factory Elementary School. <laughs> um, anyways, you find out anything from the family? Well, yeah, I know they sound nice, but they might just be fluffing you up. You know, buttering your bread roll to throw you off the trail. Sorry, I've actually just been sitting here main, mainlining complimentary bread rolls the whole time you were gone. Maybe we should go to my hotel room. I think I'd feel a little safer there. And less loji with bread. Let's go. Okay, I guess we're following you. Find the code to Pat's abode. My safe place. Help Pat back into his. Oh, help Pat remember his code. Help Pat with his outdated website. Thanks for protecting me. It really helps to have someone walk me to my room. This dude is like. I don't know. The wallpaper in here is a little intense. I was gonna say it's schizophrenic. Kind of makes me feel like something's staring at me. What am I gonna do? My heart can't take ten more hours of waiting. What's the event? What did I squeal the beans on? Cheese and crackers. He just waddles. He is definitely just waddling. There we go. Now he's got a strut going. Since I was so worried about getting super murdered today, I did the smart thing, got a special look for my hotel, special lock for my hotel room door. There's a little something I picked up at the hardware store. I was worried I'd get so nervous that I'd forget the lock's passcode, so I saved it on my website. www.alligator.fun So glad I planned ahead. You're quite the programmer, man. You're already doing better than me. Music. Relaxing. Am I supposed to? Oh, okay, we're waiting. Yeah. He must be really wealthy. <laughs> this is for sure my room. You can tell by the unobtrusive lock I installed. Can you go to my website and grab the code so we can unlock it? You have a cell phone? Use your minutes, man. I wouldn't want to go inside and see if there are many more, any more of these, those free mints left. You know, when we were walking, I should have looked for a puzzle piece I could click on. He did mention the wallpaper was looking at him. Enter the code. Uh, how do I, how do I menu? I don't... Oh, they want me to actually go to the website. 
doesn't register in my head right away. Was it alligator.fun or alligators? This is Pat's homepage. Alright, so because I'm streaming, hold on, you guys need to see this part of the game. Give me a minute. Make a temporary window capture here. Let me pull this tab out. Make sure all the porn's hidden and all that good jazz. This is a PG game. Alright. You guys are gonna love this. This is Pat's homepage. He's got a missing broke. He's got broken links. Don't click Pat only. Warning, warning, warning. Spinning globe. Dancing baby. Man, I haven't seen Dancing Baby in like years. Generated by Geoscalies. Geocities. I haven't like heard whatever happened to Geocities. About Pat, sorry, under construction. This counter is ticking up. That people visiting his website. Cutie Heart, life is a beach, blingy. Alright, let's open in a new page. About me, I'm Pat. What kind of picture is that, man? Under construction with the fire effects. The website hurts my eyes. <laughs> Don't click Pat only. If you're not Pat, you're breaking the law. This has been reported to the computer police. 91619. Alright, let me, uh... Hide the website from you guys. I'll leave that window capture up, I suppose, just in case we need that again. So, 91619. Oh, thank you so much. Ugh! I can't close it. What's going on? Help! You gotta help me. I don't even like pink. Is that acid? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello, my word. This is quite the mess. Who are you two? Why have you opened my door? <laughs> Who am I? I'm um, Pat, and this is my hotel room. I installed this lock because my family's trying to rub me out. You gotta change the way you say that, man. This is my door. Well, I've installed a lock because my family is trying to rub me out. Well, if that's true, and my password still worked, is your lock code 91619? Oh, shit. They're, they're getting... Connected. Is your lock code 91619? I don't trust this guy, Pat. We have the same code. And their families are both trying to kill us. <laughs> Alright, I'll let them laugh. So long, stranger. Perhaps in another life we would have been total best friends. Like ships in the night, Mr. Pat. Anyway, don't tell anyone what you've seen here. Or I'll come for you endlessly. That sure was a string of unlikely coincidences, wasn't it? Yeah. Anything I can click? I didn't pay attention last time, though. I'm trying to. I hope that guy's room is okay. I didn't catch the rest of that. Yeah, you had a lot of pink acid coming out of there. It's a little suspicious. It's just that lifeless stare. Ah, this is my actual room. They're so similar, no wonder I mix them up. Thanks, I never would have remembered that on my own. Come on in. I win. Whew, I'm so glad we made it inside. Now I can really try to relax a little. Sorry to distract you from the investigation. 
I'll text you again when it gets closer to 4 p.m. So don't forget to check your watch. You know, in case you get distracted doing a collection of menial tasks format in an enjoyable manner. Like playing this video game. Something like that. Oh, jeez. Where do I look at the badges? Why for now? You just gonna kick me out of your room? Hey again, your friendly city guide here. Uh-huh. That's suspicious. So I was wondering, have you been finding any puzzle pieces around? Yes. Thought so. You can find a lot of fun things you might not expect in the city by clicking around. Puzzle pieces, secret baubles to look at, interesting shaped sewer rats. The real menagerie. Maybe if you find enough pieces, you'll be able to do something good with them. Like unlock something or make a small blanket for a family of chili squirrels. Well, it's bright, so have fun. Lots of, lots of fun looking around. Okay. So, he's gonna call us at 4. And 15 minutes seem to go by every time I do something. So that's a little bit of time we have. Oh, that's a puzzle piece. About this guy. Oh, that's a puzzle piece. Alright, we're like... 20% through the game. Damn. <laughs> Charlene, something so nice about just sitting by yourself in a restaurant for good book. I don't mind dining alone. Serene, sharing a meal with just me, myself, and I. Kind of serenity that involves not having to hear anyone else. You're not really taking the hint, huh? Click me again and I'm going to kill you. <laughs> hmm. Oh shit, I need to wait for that guy to come back. Alright. Has any time passed for that? Wait. It's the wrong button. No. You got anything else? My girlfriend is coming to pick me up after work. Oh, I'm so nervous. I think I like Bub the most. He's gotta lower his shoulders though. Looks like he's waiting for someone. Oh, okay. I'm gonna turn that off just because I can. I don't see anything else. Oh, the kitchen. That guy blocked it! There you go. I think we're done here. Hey, Bob, you're just in time. The trolley got here a minute ago. Why don't you go check out the city? Bring Mickey a hot dog, maybe. Wear some protective handwear. I'm gross. Oh. Okay. The way these alligators walk, every single one of them has a weird walk cycle. Get what up? Fifth William the Fourth. Oh boy, that sign flower looks as tasty as ever. Come here, most days to stare at her. I usually leave when someone calls the alligator police or I uh, slip and fall down in a rather overwrought fashion. Too hard to get all the way back up if you fall. No elevator, you know. Just have to use elbow grease, which I have yet to speak to my doctor about. Full-time job and want to eat this flower, but I'll do it as my father and his father did before me. Where are they now? Well, they both retired to stare at flowers in the comfort of their own homes, of course, but not me. I'm out here on the daily. You want that puzzle piece, man? Lawa. Lawa. These alligators need some serious help. John Johnny's Hotel. Anything else over here? No? Alright. Soupies. I want to go to Soupies. Real. What do you got? You ever eat at John Johnny's here? The food's alright. That bottomless chowder bowl was a disaster. Pick that thing up and bam! Chowder pants. The rest of the day. 
Chatter Pants is my nickname at work, but from an unrelated chatter centered incident. Listen, can we stop talking about it? I'm still feeling pretty sensitive about the whole thing. This is almost as bad as the unlimited breadsticks debacle of last summer. But it's not unlimited is apparently how much shame I can feel. <laughs> So there's a limit to the shame you can feel. That's good, right? Oh, I don't want to click on you. Ain't nobody can follow these ferocious fingies. What else you got? Okay, that's all. That's Mr. Chatterpants to you. Yeah, Alright, man. Lovely Maria. Yo, what's up, Tiesel? John Johnny. Yup, yup. How you doing, man? Oh, dear. I think I may have left my scrapbooking scissors at home on accident. Oh, I found my scissors! It must have been your approach that gave me good luck, stranger. What? Mail. Brodiga. I've been trying to get outside to home more since I had a new baby. Nana's watching her today, so here I am out in the world. It's a little nerve-wracking to be away from the nursery after this month, to be honest. <laughs> I already miss all the new baby smells. Ugh. These people are so eccentric. <laughs> You're bored? Not watching a Death Stranding stream? That's what everyone's doing right now, right? Not all the smells. We all know more things come out of babies than just the sweet fragrance of their cute little heads. Well, even that stuff is a little cute. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, I'm Maria. It's wonderful to meet you. I was heading to the local Yaka before I ran YACA, before I ran into you. I'm taking a class there today on scrapbooking, but I'm a little early. I'm at the wait here in the lovely weather until their class on mom, yoga, and self defense ends. Eat, pray, shove! <laughs> Alright, what do you know about Pat? You want to watch someone deliver packages and go to work? But they deliver packages and weird demon-y things appear at the same time. I don't know. It's a trip. That game is crazy looking. You hate open world games? Alright, you're in the right place then. This is the furthest thing from an open world. You mean my son Pat? Oh, I'm just so proud of him. Pat's your son. It's his birthday today, did you know? He's so funny with how he treats himself to a hotel stay every year on the day. He just loves that continental breakfast. And those free tiny soaps. I do get concerned he eats too many of those. However, Sud shouldn't be coming out the snoot of a boy that age. Uh-huh. So you're Pat's mom. The event is actually why I'm taking this class today. Would you like to elaborate, ma'am? <laughs> Please. Actually, since you're one of past friends, maybe you could help mom out. You see, I'm trying to put together a family tree to bring tonight as a surprise, but I don't have everyone's pictures. It's so hard for all of us to get together in one place these days. I don't think anyone would like me to use their photos from the early 2000s. We all made some questionable wardrobe decisions back then. I'm trying to remember, man, the 2000s weren't really that far out. It was like the transitionary phase of the 90s jeans and shirts. Like the last time we looked good, and now humanity looks as terrible as they do. Since <laughs> so you're already going around town, would you mind snapping some pictures of my family? Any you get and bring back, I'll put in the family tree. Maybe if you get them all, something good will happen. Oh, I see you already have one there. Would you like to put it in? Here, you can have mine as well. Don't want anyone feeling lonely. Aw, oh, jeez. So the family member badges, or we're collecting those too. Let's see how much you've learned so far. Oh shit, do I have to put this together? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Collect the fam to uncover the scam. Is there actually a scam there? Family history mystery. There's so much alliteration going on. Click and drag the alligator portraits into position on the family tree. Come back anytime to see your collection. 
All right, well, there's Pat. So we've got two unrelated peoples. We've got someone else who stands out. I don't... Does Pat go here? It's his family tree, right? No, he doesn't fit there. So, would it simply get placed if it's correct? Do I just brute force this? Where does Pat go? If I know where Pat starts everything, we can actually try to figure it out as opposed to me just blind guessing. I mean, you wouldn't be at the top of any of these trees. I don't know, he wasn't fitting into that. This guy is like a friend of Pat's. This person is a cousin of Pat's, and this is Pat's mom. Where the fuck does Pat go? Alright, hold up. Okay, Pat goes there. He's 24, he's a lovable doofus, and apparently a biotechnician. I don't know if the... Uh... I'm not really certain how the family... Okay, it's upside down. Sort of. 48, church rummage sale cashier. Okay, this guy's a cousin. So if this is the mother, this is the father, we don't know what side he's a cousin on. He might be up here or over here. And it should be the sister or brother's daughter to the parents. So. There you go. That's pretty far out there. Pinball wizard journey. I don't know if I like this family tree just because it doesn't make a lot of sense at the moment. This guy could be anywhere. This guy is probably an outlier. He's a friend. I guess we'll find out. I feel like he should not be... Yeah, he's not related. If he's not in the top ones... Huh. This man can be a biotech. You <laughs> could land on the fly. I don't know, man. And it's very mentally demanding. Okay, he's all the way over here. Slick Mickey, he's 18. I thought he was older than that, but alright. So he's 18. He's the friend of Pat, 24. It's quite an age gap to be friends. Uh Alright, shouldn't we have a couple other pictures? I guess not. Thanks again, dear. Come back anytime. So I just talk to you to do that? Probably. Alright, we can take the trolley. Ring the bell. I think the walk cycles of some of these gators are like the best things. Alright. Uh, go back into the arcade or the Johnny Johns. There's another person in the arcade and finish talking to. But if I want to... Oh, the trolley icon's down here. Alright, let's go back to Johnny John. This, this, oh, that's the girl. I don't know if I want to do this again. I'll pass. I got the puzzle piece in here. The game eventually gets you. So that's her. Is she like stretching her head all the way over there? Or is this someone else? Train player. Yeah, the train movie remake was passable. If you ask me, nothing beats the part in the original where a train leaps into the air and the harness holding the actor breaks. Train is Tron, right? Stay after the credits. You see the footage where he falls to the cam guy and the makeup artist holding two coffees. 
Even that whole scene unedited with added slide whistle noises now. Those were the days of true cinema. Holy shit, is that a Street Fighter 2 cabinet? Yeah, this. <laughs> Coffee physics are really believable. Practical effects, yeah. Phew, take that, Master Conductor. Alright, so that's all you got. What about you? You say anything new? Nobody here but us curtains. Okay, I think then we don't really have anything to do here. Take the trolley. It's time to explore. Welcome to my beautiful city, Mayor Wibbleyfin. Uh, did I click out? Alright, map of Alligator New York City. We're in Alligator Memorial Park now. Unsavory part of town, the Fun District downtown. And then a whole bunch of this was bitten off or something. Fun facts! Some booming bug economy. See the alligator. My my uh thing is over here in the corner, so I couldn't see that. See the alligator. New York City Alligator Opera presents alligator Pagliacci. Pagliacci. Free hot dogs on Fridays. I could go for it's Friday today, right? Yo, who wants some free hot dogs? Anyway. I kind of want to go to the unsavory part of town first, just to see how uh, doom and gloom things are. Oh cool, it's like a bus driving scene. Wait, I could have clicked on that. <sighs> Next time I'm in the bus, I'm going to have to click on that. I was looking around. Hey buddy, a good old guide here. I just want to warn you, in the city so big there are bound to be parts of town that are a little seedy. Talking seedy tough guys. Seedy tough guys who eat the seeds of things without spitting them out onto a napkin politely. So just be careful. Don't go clicking around in back alleys or anything. You never know what you might find. Don't tell me what to do, mysterious cell phone. Dude. We got cool guy and cool girl in the car got dude coming out of the very adult bar got a puzzle piece we got a zen dude got some trash cans got another puzzle piece we can walk back in the alley here can i click and drag the camera i cannot doesn't seem to be anything around the corner <clears throat> All right, your first, Aiden. Hey man, you got any change or novelty tie dye apparel? Wow, Star Child, I can like feel your energy from over here. I'd say it is what is hushing my whole thing right now. But the truth is, I free cycled some really gnarly bagels for lunch today out of the dumpster behind the furniture store. My mellow has been thoroughly pre-harshed. <sighs> Why would there be bagels in the dumpster of a furniture store? Oh, throw pillows. Bummer. Listen, who among us hasn't woken up at noon in a van under a blanket felted equally from stranger lint and candy wrappers? No wonder I got into the wrong dumpster. If anything, it's fate. Alright, who are you? I'm Aiden. It's totally chill to meet you. Dot com. Dot org. Sorta of knew someone would seek me out today. I'm like a bit of a clairvoyant, according to some subforms of his online. Was I supposed to write that website down? Hold on a minute. It's totally cool to meet you. Dot com. Dot org. Now, pretty sure we just got a virus for that website. <laughs> Alright. Sort of do someone seek me out today. I'm like a bit of a clairvoyant. According to some subform. Oh, yeah, I read that. Alright. Plus, I earned a somewhat unsettling amount of powerful crystals. 
The potent energies course through me to my inner core. Which is great since I spent the last of my dosh on some suspiciously expensive crystals. And my inner core is super starving, man. You know about Pat? Do you say Pat? He's a pretty cool guy. Kinda dresses like a preschooler though, if I'm being realsy. My little sister Lizzie is dating his cousin. I guess you could say we're kind of like family. Alright, so your little sister Lizzie is probably dating that cool pinball guy. And say anything to strangers, really, no one can stop you. Charge his crystals? I don't want to touch his crystals, it's his problem. <laughs> Tonight? Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I really can't tell you much. I've been sworn to secrecy. It's funny, his family literally owns all of New York. They're like everywhere. And his family tree was huge. I could actually, like, probably tell you a few things if you do me a solid first. See those suspiciously expensive crystals I mentioned earlier? Well, those little mamas are all so suspiciously powerful. Just three nights of holding them. Even when I had to get up to do pee, I feel mystically charged enough to access my innermost self. And in my tireless questing through the crystal concentration arts, I just don't have time to shower or dust my pewter miniatures. Besides, bathing is a way for the man to keep us down. You should be sliding across the floor on the oil slick of your own creation, like nature intended. My aromatic scent keeps away a lot of unwanted company, like solicitors, my father, but invite others. Talk about flies. Little buzzing buzzkills keep harshing my mellow. Making it impossible for me to concentrate on my inner light to do it inner right. <clears throat> Sorry, that's, that's a lot of R's and R's. It's a little tough on me. You know what I mean. You could just swap them away from me while I'm getting my meditation on and be happy to do you solid in return. Will you be my spotter swatter? Slap a fly from an icky guy. Meditation infestation. Alright, guy. Click on flies and hornets to attack them with the fly swatter. Hornets take extra hits. Careful, don't swap butterflies or aid them. Alright, we've already played this game in the super side quest for Mario Paint. Alright, see, Dad, I do have friends. This <laughs> is Mario Paint all over again. It's happening! The subforms were right! I have to keep going! Okay. I hope there are no butterflies over there. I'm starting to feel the cosmos and pick up Wi Fi! Keep going, I'm almost there. We're gonna. This guy's gonna get off. Or another. I'm sorry, Aiden. I didn't mean to do it. Your friend would never fly swat in your ass. You could just take a damn shower, and then you wouldn't have to worry about this. That was easy. Hello, my star child. Do your crystal channeling and staying modestly hydrated like advised on social medias. <laughs> I've been able to reach my most powerful form. Oh, jeez. I'm still the Aiden you've known and adored for so, so long. The new, more powerful Aiden. 
a Payton, as it were. Like how I haven't been paid in weeks. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't feel the human desire for food in my new astral mood. Hey, did you just hear an ice cream truck? Oh, no reason. I just like the song the truck plays. It's a real bop. No, I'm not crying. And I'll tell you a bit about the event now, since I'm a being of pure energy and knowledge given form. Human desire, you are a crocodile. They, they, they consider themselves humans. They also go down manholes. But then there was something else that was turned into an alligator pun, as opposed to a normal human pun. I'm a being that's like extremely good at keeping secrets, man. What little I can tell you is it concerns Pat for a certain reason. That's really all I can say. I don't want Lizzie to get too mad at me for spilling the beans. She's got those angry little sister hands. Even beings of pure and peaceful energy are adverse to tiny sister punches. Thank you again for your spiritual guidance. What you have done here today will not soon be forgotten. At least not for the 45 minutes of short-term memory I have. Wow, man, you're gonna forget me in 45 minutes? I'm like your only friend in this world. Hey, did you hear an ice cream truck? Alright, well... Groovy. Okay, we helped him out, because... How much time passed? That was a... Yeah, it took 15 minutes to get here, it would have been 30, and then 15 more would have been 45. This is a 15 minute period missing. Okay, we got time. Slasher, hey, what are you looking at? Nice, Eric. Trying to listen to our exceedingly private rooftop conversation. Beat it, creep. Oh, I'm gonna listen. We're not even talking about anything interesting. Move on. Definitely nothing interesting. Just extremely boring things. Yeah, in fact, we're not even talking. We're just sitting up here in silence. Our mouths are only moving to aerate our gums. Yeah, we just care a lot about oral hygiene, so buzz off. <clears throat> Definitely not talking about the juicy details of Slasher here's hilariously disastrous love life, so beat it. Yeah, hey. He's a good guy, he's just not so good at the romance thing, you see. Eric. First day at the sporting goods store. Ooh, yikes, man. I needed sneakers! <laughs> and he was running half an hour late. Because I didn't have the sneakers! Still, she had an okay time. She had his phone in front of him so she was sure he didn't have her number. <sighs> tough, tough luck, man. Tough luck. Just got sneakers and then went on a date elsewhere. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? Scram! Vamoose! Alright. Let's talk to the cool guy here. Raul. Hey, you got a light? No, not for my cigarette. I mean, in general. Kinda of dark out here. I've got a spooky ghost allergy. You ain't seen any, right? <clears throat> two people with allergies in this family. You'd smooch slasher. <laughs> but would you still feel the same if he took you to a sporting goods store just to buy sneakers? You wanna get in the bar bub, you're gonna have to cough up an ID. Or anything really. Coughing up stuff is generally an adult thing. Getting older and glamorous. Hmm. I happen to have a knife in my briefcase. The other night I coughed up something out of shape, just like the state of Arizona. I tried to show Slasher, but he wouldn't even look. Because that's gross, Raul. <laughs> quit smoking, you dingus. Yeah, quit smoking, stupid. <clears throat> even had the Grand Canyon in it. Snort. Alright. Ah, I could click on the very adult bar. 
another puzzle piece. All right, car couple. Prince Valentino. I say you there, vagrant. <laughs> Brother, I don't think they're a vagrant. They've got that suit on. Okay, so they're siblings. Perhaps a hobo king? Hmm, you may be right, sister. These guys remind me of a certain pair. <laughs> you there, hobo king. Come here a moment. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, brother, what are we even doing in this filthy part of town? Even breathing air outside in the seedy watering holes, making my scales lose their highly regarded luster. I agree, sister, but you know as well as I that we had to find unbiased bonehead for our beneficiary. Anyone at the estate was out. Besides, you know how weary I grow of literally everyone we know in the whole world. Shall we talk to the stranger with the briefcase then? Yes, yes! As long as it's not someone that gives me the dreadful horror of being known. <coughs> Excuse me, I need a drink. We got Prince and Princess Valentino. Look at his fucking face. That's great. I don't know. I like the aesthetics in this game. Brother, this nobody doesn't seem to be aware of who we are. Indeed, sister. Perhaps with that pinstripe style, they've spent the last 30 or so years locked in a storage closet with their fingers in their ears. And their other fingers in their eyes. And fingers yet still in their nose. Obviously. Since I released that perfume this year. Obviously. I am Princess Valentino, heir to the Valentino fortune. And this is my brother, Prince Valentino. He is also the heir, since we are twins. I'm the evil twin. They couldn't test for that gene, and you know it, Prince. I wonder if Pat's related to them. <laughs> Pat, why? He's our second cousin. That's like a cousin, but thankfully a little more removed from your gene pool. The amount of DNA shared between us is blessedly on the shallow side. Much like your personality, sister. Oh, <laughs> Prince, you're such a cut up. Much like how I cut up your invitation to the Met Gala this year and fed it to the cat. What? But the top theme this year was the Monopoly mascot. You know Mittens the third is on a strict diet for failing kidneys. Right. <laughs> well, now you're going to have to be more specific. I attend a lot of events, you know. Balls, galas, exhibitions, Prince's unfortunate performance art shows. You were speaking of last week when I walked the runway for Gill's Fashion Fishery rubber pants from moist alligators. I'll have you know I got a write up in the magazine spread for highlights for children. <laughs> anyway, if you're talking about tonight, we have no qualms spilling the whole secret to you. That is, if only you do us the smallest of favors. Damn it, they all want some mini gameplay. <laughs> you see, our beloved daddy passed away just recently from poison related complications. Poison related complications, say. You know, the natural way. Oh, yeah, that's how we all die. Now, that oxygen is poison. So, I suppose you could consider it poison-related complications. We're splitting up our shared inheritance, but we could really use a mediator. And someone to protect my beautiful face from dear sister's punches. <clears throat> so it just reminds me of what the other guy said. Are you the sister to that dude? It's true. I punch super duper hard. If only we had some help dividing up daddy's precious possessions and not going to a lawyer. 
to arbitrate? I'm sure we could tell you the information you seek. Is that way you help us? Or do you have hobo king duties to attend to? Split the perks between these jerks to find twin inheritance. Sure, I'll play. Use a checklist to assign an item to each of the Valentino twins. You can't leave until both twins are happy, so pay attention to the indicator bar. Well, let's get on with this. Daddy's not getting any more alive. Is this our legs over here? <laughs> Just hop in the car with them. I'm already aboard. The Valentina's inheritance. A mink stole armor hat, wine, vinyl, feather painting, sack of cash, urn of ashes, crystal orb, parrot, sports car, the blade. How does this work? Oh, cozy. It's the kind of thing I like. One made through the suffering of another. Okay, they're gonna get dressed up. I want the blade? Great grandmother's claymore is right for places with me in my penthouse. Damn, look at this thing. This thing looks like uh, the eye on it makes me think of Ruby Lax from Walk Fu. <laughs> or possibly my ex boyfriend Blake, the house music DJ. I'll have to keep an eye on that. The <laughs> sports call. For a pass. I'm already the fastest guy in ANYC if you check my online dating profile reviews. Okay, so you want this? Well, my cell phones could use a car. Alright, parrot. This creature is vile. All it does is yell about sports teams and say, help, help, I'm being poisoned. Ugh, it does make me wistful about dear daddy. Say about that. Bernard I spent hours training to him to eat fifty dollar bills in front of our governess as she cried. Sweet childhood memories. <laughs> it's a flying rat! And not at all like the flying rat father had genetically produced for our amusement as children. Ratholomew was a star. Oh, not. I didn't mean to do the parrot. Pretty poly one of 50. I want a crystal orb. Mother is rather into these types of things as well. You might say ironic mysticism runs in the family. But like bloodlust or beautiful knees. Alright, he seems to like that. Alright, you want an urn of ashes? The first urn we put daddy and melted, but luckily this one is from the funeral home's new poison proof collection. What did you do? You just kill him? I just noticed the bar up here. From a sack of cash. Daddy always did like to show off our wealth. Money sacks, diamond throwing parties, PJs made of two parts endangered tiger, one part great barrier. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Daddy knew how to live. She doesn't seem happy about that. You want ping me? This will look great place delicately behind me for my upcoming photo of the cover of Vanity Flare Fashion Magazine for me and Lady Alligator. Right, about that sack of cash. Ah, father's beloved cartoonish sack of money. Reminds me so much of him. Cold, hard, and beneath my flippers. It's cr I like the, the pappy. Alright, well, you guys seem almost maxed. You want a photo? Signed photo of the president. To be rather straight with you, I didn't vote for him or that gold chain. Well, it is a conversation piece, I suppose. Alright. Vinyl. These are mostly compilations of Halloween sound effects and screams, so yes, please give this to me. Okay. Wine? The girl doesn't like wine, come on. I know for a fact that oh, this unusual lady over here. This really brings back memories. Remember when we walled up tipsy cousin Cleo in the wine cellar after luring her with the promise of an even finer vintage? Oh, how we laugh. You want the wine? 
fine vintage from the year I was born. Daddy was saving it for when I became an admirable member of society. Good thing he died and I could just take it. Yup. With the hat. Father's secret society hat. I wondered if, I, if it had been lost after the SWAT raids. Alright, who wants the armor? Hmm, shiny, damaged, and empty. Well, it wouldn't be totally out of place for me, I suppose. Okay, guess that was easy. These incredibly mean, obviously evil gators are kinda hot. Guess you know what you're into, right? Aw, oh, jeez. Aw, oh, jeez. Second cousins. That is all Daddy's things, and I feel quite pleased with my haul. And me as well. Why, I'm in such good mood, I'm almost feeling feelings again. Seriously, brother, how pedestrian. I know. Please don't tell any of the servants. They'll start asking me for silver dollars or whatever they eat these days. Man, I wish I could be so ignorantly, blissfully rich. <laughs> I guess we should thank you. Pinstripes? I'll tell you what, you want to know about the event. We won't! Your reward is our smiling snoot. Now get out of our car before you ring the police. Ho 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 What a couple of bitches. I can't wait to frighten small children away with my new disturbing hat. Daddy would have wanted it that way. I go to the back alley first. Aw oh, yeah, baby. Them alligator girls better be in here. Game is rated for kids, right? <laughs> Rosalind Elsie Franklin was a British chemist and X-ray crystallography specialist. X-ray crystallography is the study of how beams of light move through various crystals, how the atoms inside are arranged. She presented a seminar on the structured DNA molecule and later captured a photo of X-rays moving through crystallized DNA. Without these two contributions, we wouldn't know the structure of DNA to build and blocks of all different things. I don't know if that's like a true fact or what. Rosalind was raised in a family of activists. She had a lot of uncle deeply involved in one of the suffrage movement in Britain. Her parents helped resell Jewish refugees who had escaped from the Nazis. Even as kids, she was an excellent scholar and attended one of the few girls' schools in London that taught math and physics. She attended the University of Cambridge, where she met Adrian Weil, French scientist and a former student of Mary Curie. Mary Curie was famous for discovering iridium and polonium was also in the field of x-rays and I really want to I don't know if I'm supposed to keep clicking through this and I don't want to read it anymore. Okay, there we go. This is an impressive lady as a scientific woman mentoring woman and that's so awesome! This is actually true, is it? I'm not sure. These scientists who presented a completed structure of DNA molecule double helix used Rosalind's unpublished data to correct their original model of how Rosalind's calculations and her lab's photo of crystallized DNA wouldn't have modern molecular biology. Rosalind Franklin deserved credit for building our understanding of genetics and how everything living is made. They plagiarized her work. I got a puzzle piece for this. Girls, girls, girls. We got an exit, we got girls. I don't know if they're all girls. Can I have a cup of coffee? Wow! That's my thoughts on this. That's a puzzle piece added to the collection. It's 11.30 at the moment. Alright, snack girl. Gail. Welcome, please sign our guest book. And sign here for our mailing list. And sign here too. Right there. Great. I really needed a co-signer for my small business loan. Default and Gale. That's what they call me down at the credit union. 
<laughs> makes me laugh. <laughs> Woman's only coffee. Hey, you can't... I can come in here and say I identify as a woman. And what are they gonna do now? Hmm? Hmm? Gonna serve me some coffee. That's what they're gonna do. Sign the guest book or don't. Go your own way, baby. Alright. <laughs> Before I talk to her, she's probably MC down here. Hey, Emily. Yeah. <clears throat> you wanna go get sushi burritos after this? I never try and save money, but I hear the siren song and the sushi dough calling me. Had me a hey. The fusion of two star cross foods, so different from each other and yet so delicious in one. That is a guy, right? I can't tell. I wonder what other tasty combos of cuisine we're missing. Like, chips in the night. Pasta sickles. Err. Kishza. Well, a burger, but it's tacos. Two tacos. Okay, that one I'm vaguely interested in. <clears throat> Guy's a foodie. Hey, Emily. Hey, Jamie. Okay, is that it? Usually like four dialogue boxes. I'm getting down the general gist, the general flow of the game. Ayush! What kind of name is Ayush? Am I in the wrong room? This is definitely not a support group for people who have grown too emotionally attached to vloggers. Alright, man, let me tell you something. Don't do anything rash, alright? <laughs> I, I should leave before anyone notices. Actually, it is pretty interesting. I bet they have better coffee than the support group too. See, now I need to get some coffee. I don't even drink coffee. I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and gosh darn it, I'm worth vlogging about. <laughs> Mina. Excuse me, I'm clearly trying to take notes on the material, so shoo. Cassandra, with every beat of my heart, I long for you. Dugulus withered his flippers padding across the ball in the meter. His lavender orbs sparkled with unspoken love for a totally slamming bottom personality. Who says that? <laughs> Fanfic writer over here. <laughs> hey! Stop looking over my shoulder. It is healthy to express yourself creatively. I got no problem with it, do you? Teddy. I've attended advocacy talks all up and down the East Coast, but this one, by far, has the best lemon square and brownie selection. Tronch, tronch, tronch. Do I have time to get another Rice Krispie Treat before we continue? I wonder how many Teddies there are in real life. People that just go to these sort of, like, meeting groups. Purely to eat and drink free food and drink. Climate change is real. I think the game developer is trying to sell a certain message here. <laughs> oh, this is all so affirming. I'm approaching max validation. Makes me want to strut right out of here and start a revolution. <laughs> you should do that. Let me know how that works out for you. I'm getting a drink. <clears throat> Sal revolution begins today. Yes, yes, I agree. <laughs> Thank you, Sal. Good to see you back again. Oh my goodness. I can't believe Katie knows my name. The Sal revolution is going great. I got a puzzle piece for that. Oh, jeez. Eee! <laughs> I would shriek really loud, it's like way early in the morning. Caro. Hey, you know beloved movie franchise Space Fight Episode 7, Return of the Guy? Remember when Bananagan Cloud Pinchers revealed to be the guy? I just feel like people really misunderstand his character. So he did some space murders. So he punched a baby so hard it turned to a diamond. Damn. People would only seek out the extended content. They'd see there's so much more to him. A real spaceflight fan reads the 45 companion novels, played the ARG, 
ARG action role playing game and collected enough box tops to send away for the compendium. <clears throat> Do you know how much cereal I ate for that? I'm banned from the Brodiga now. Well, also because I keep paying for apples and all pennies. Base fight. Alright. Katie. Oh, someone new. Have a seat. We're just about to get started. Help yourself to some coffee or some of Minna's famous spring rolls. Oh, go on. <laughs> Don't worry about where you sit. I plan on yelling indiscriminately, so all seating is within range. Did I put out enough folding chairs? Don't want to repeat a space fight trivia night's chaos. Okay, so actually none of them were major characters here. There's just a thing going on. We got one puzzle piece. And I guess that's all. Let me just take a moment to like look around. See if the hand changes this is how you do these point and clicky games. Man, I can't get any coffee. Alright, well, ladies and gents, whatever your meeting's about, thanks for the history lesson. I didn't really look out here, so let's take a minute to look out here. Girls, girls, girls. I'll say I am slightly disappointed. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to walk back in. Oh, uh, does this just keep telling you random information? <clears throat> hey, the only reason why I'm not reading it is because my throat's already getting sore. I wasn't planning on reading those long dialogues. There doesn't seem to be anything here. Did that take up time? No, it didn't. Alright, well, we got the bar. Very adult bar. Drink up drink neon only have one the tune sounds familiar but i don't quite know you got a puzzle piece so puzzle pieces are like anytime you see a magnifying glass Sippy cups. Yo. Out of curiosity, which one of these is male and which one is female? Just like, I would be a terrible alligator. I wouldn't want to accidentally bother the opposite gender, you know? I've not seen you around here before. I think I'd remember a face like that. So distinct and clearly visible. What's a tall drink of water like you doing in a place like this? Everyone else here is more of a middling half glass of yogurt top runoff, if you know what I mean. Do you just insult everyone of your patrons? Let me know if I can get you anything like a drink or a semi awkward shoulder massage. So forward. What can I get you? Perhaps that semi-awkward shoulder massage. Tall Jared. Oh hey, I didn't see you down there. Can you move about two centimeters to the right? The placement of my eyes is particularly wacky. <clears throat> I'm waiting for a call, but my phone has been pretty dinked up lately. Dude, do you play DDR? We are going to be friends. I can tell. This fish. I wonder if it'll even come in. Maybe I should ask Bartender to use the phone here. Oh, it's not gonna work since I stored the number I need here in my broken phone. <laughs> How did anyone even get by before modern cell phone technology? How did they send each other messages or watch videos about people drinking a gallon of milk and then throwing up? I guess I'll just have to write letters now and film myself barfing on VH. Excuse me. <clears throat> VHS. 
It's like the pilgrim, sort of. Sup, tall Jared. Folks call me tall Jared. I don't really get it, though. Honestly, I'm not even the tallest Jared that I personally know. Yeah, let that info sink in for a while. I can see your imagination running wild and your extremely visible eyes. Why do they keep mentioning how visible and clear my face is? Alright, Pat. Pat the alligator? That's my little cousin. All my cousins are little to me, even the older ones. Pat, however, is particularly small. Maybe that's why he's so skittish. A guy that tiny could slip into a crack any time and get lost in a medium-sized mouse hole. <laughs> like a borrower or something. Oh, the borrower is nice reference. I like that movie. Oh, you're going to that too? I'll tell you more about it, but... Sad truth is I jotted down all the deets in my phone here. But the dang thing has been on the fritz for over a week now. Ever since I got back from that ghastly mansions of the rich and dead tour I did on my vacation. What's really ghastly is the distribution of wealth among the populace. And the dedulous. Ugh. I don't know what I'm going to do. My phone is my life. Literally. I don't have a rich inner existence or anything. It's, all mo it's mostly all saved on here in the form of a dream journal and pictures of good breakfast at that. I don't know how much of a tech person you are, but do you think you could take a look? <laughs> Maybe. Ghost in the cell. This phone is on the fritz. It's super the pits. Ghost in the cell. These developers must have referenced everything that they loved and enjoyed, and I'm cool with that. Something fishy about Tall Jared's flip phone. Escape his apps and files. Find the source of the mysterious malfunctions. I thought it wouldn't turn on. Well, on a fritz a couple weeks ago when I was on vacation. Can you fix whatever's wrong? Phone's my lifeline to everyone else. Sometimes Tall Jared's too tall to hear their voices down there. What's it like? <laughs> when train, video time, noties. Alright, first of all, I kind of want to pry. Uh, hey, don't look at my calls. I don't try to call anyone either. I'm sort of really out of minutes. I only have 22 seconds left and I still need to call my grandma. Okay. That ain't error code 09590A. Ghost. Alright, I don't know if this is also leet speak, but this is the ghost. Unlock to enable ghost mode. This screen. This screen isn't helpful at all. What do you think ghost mode is? Well, is it 09590? It won't let me type in this one. Oh. I just guessed. <laughs> I got it. The truth is, I don't remember any passwords ever. Was I supposed to do something to figure that out? I don't really get it. Alright, anyway. Why would I activate ghost mode? Hey, you unlocked it. Check the other apps. Maybe something has changed. I'm gonna check your calls. No. I didn't check the apps beforehand. Alright, what's in your noties? Some of my noties are pretty personal. Groceries, game ideas, dream journal, new note. I'm not working on a video game. I just thought these would be some cool ideas for some. Spooky game about three kids in the bad summer camp. Cute game about a sweet night it gets to escort four hot princes down the mountain. Silly mystery game about alligators in the city. Too much work. Hot, hot, hot. A dramatic game about mecha pilots fighting over the fate of humanity. And kissing. 
it too late to check there's embarrassing stuff in my nudies? By too late. That's fine, you're fine. Groceries. Three kinds of muffins and good breakfast? Tall Jared, you're getting greedy. Greedy for breakfast. Getting some crisp rices, some large ham, some muffins. The hell is Bug Akai? Paper towels, cleaning spray, dirtying spray. What? Good breakfast. Sandwich bread, pea nut bubber, and small ham. Alright, I don't see anything suspicious here. I'm not sure what I'm doing still. Green journal. Huh, I don't remember dreaming about any being hungry. Did I write that? I was in the woods, I was running on all fours, and there's a monster chasing me. I'm at school and everyone's making fun of me because I forgot all math. I am hungry. I'm looking at myself in the mirror and except my father is looking back at me. He turns into sand and I'm holding two hands. I have fish hands, that's the best dream ever. Unable to add new notes. Apparently, error code ghost. See, I told you my phone was acting up. Why well, already did the thing? Ah, uh, hmm. I don't know yet. Let me see something else. Oh, you actually can't use numbers. Ghost mode activated. Alright, well, let's look at his pictures. <laughs> you gonna look through my photos? Should I? Okay, no, I'm sure there's nothing too embarrassing in there. Let's see them dick pics, man. My little sib, Joni. I caught them on candid camera. Alright, so you're Joni's brother. Ghost mode. Oh. What does it say? Oh, it says ghost mode backwards. Delete. <laughs> Does it work? Whatever you're doing is gonna fix my <laughs> Right? Oh shit, I deleted the picture. I didn't think that would work. Uh, Ghostman doesn't seem to do anything on this one. What the- Oh, I just saw that. I saw that for like a split second. My eyes got distracted by his damn speech bubble though. Okay, took a picture of the guy that was at the pool. That's the guy and girl from the pool. Shooting pool. Okay, so why does this one not have a ghost mode? Look at that handsome fella. Give myself compliments every day. It's like a workout for your self-esteem. Looking good there, man. Looking real good. Why did I even take that pick? I don't remember. So this one... What was that? Did you do that with my phone? <clears throat> was I supposed to do that? Alright, sorry I deleted your other photo, man. Vacation pics. Film started acting up after you went to this weird house. Am I supposed to delete anything that... <laughs> Saw that, right? 
That is definitely strange. I want to see the rest of your vacation pics. Anything that doesn't have a ghost made, I guess I'm deleting. <laughs> All his pictures is just this fucking big ass head. <laughs> the best. Alright. Saved images. Oh boy. <laughs> um, so, please don't um, mess with this folder. I just have a, a lot of pics here that I'd really hate to lose. I don't mean to be a dick, my dude, but... Okay, he's in the anime. Uh, listen, it's not what it looks like. Com camaraderie is important to me. The fuck? Where did my handsome swimming boys go? No, this is a nightmare. Get rid of it. Oh, you can see that, uh... This isn't what they look like. Oh, God. Next time I go on vacation, it'll be something safe like go-karting or a nude beach. Or creepy old mansions with dark legacies contaminated by the vengeful souls that reside within, I swear. I feel like that just moved two bobbles on my life advocates to the left after all that. <sighs> that was super terrifying. Can I have my phone back? I want to see the rest of your pictures! Oh no, oh no, my photos! So many memories, oh god. At least you got the haunted ones, I guess. I deleted one photo. Quit bitching. Just gonna take a picture of your sibling again. Nice to have a functioning phone again. It's like I'm reconnected to society. Take that. Actually looking people in the eye and talking to them directly? Thanks, random stranger. Wait, did he just say, like, take that actually looking? Oh, I see what he's saying. I'm sorry, man. I mean, you're welcome, man. It's a good thing you don't have to look people directly in the eye. That's scary. I know. Socializing with other humans? Who wants to do that? <coughs> or alligators. I didn't check out all the other apps. I probably missed a puzzle piece doing that or something, but... I didn't know what I was doing at first, so... You're actually waiting on the caterer for the event. A lot of work since the family's practically made of food allergies and intolerances. But I'll manage. Thanks so much for all your help. I'll see you tonight. By the way, can you have wheat? Yeah, man, I can eat anything. Can I look at your phone again? Can we get a chocolate fountain? How much? About just a poster of one. Alright. I didn't get his family badge. Did I? I don't know. Linda, I'm waiting for a blind date, so if you see anyone that looks like XX Gandalf the Bay, XX, let me know. Got it. They're tall, handsome, and a very successful lawyer just like me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Keep me posted, wingman. You're worth it, Linda. Gotta cheer yourself up. Alright, let's talk to the uh, Yakuza looking guy here. Leave me alone unless you want a knuckle sandwich. The knife. <clears throat> Seriously, do you want it? It was the bar special today, but I ain't got the heart to eat it now because it's a nervous. Has a nervous guts. Anyways, what do you want? I don't really have time to talk right now. I'm waiting for somebody. Or maybe there's no show. Maybe they are no show. Alright, who are you? You call me the knife. On the count of my design, contain sharp edges. Now I poked my eye out in a freak jack-o'-lantern carving accident back in fourth grade. And cause I'll cut you. Out of extracurriculars, <laughs> if I catch you in the hall without the pass. I'm a guidance counselor from Miss Petty Snoot's school for snobby and gifted middle schoolers. The nickname is just there to scare the preteens, to be honest. 
Okay, you look like a standout, gentlemen. It's the jukebox! <clears throat> yeah, I know, Pat. Who's asking? Oh, you are right. Right. Sorry, I'm uh, a little socially anxious right now. Basically all the time. This entire family seems to be socially anxious. All the time. <laughs> I've known Pat since high school and the seniors got paired up with freshman buddies to run the three-legged race. As the gym teacher tried the rope around our legs, tied the rope around our legs, Pat flipped out and thought he was being kidnapped. I started running like a maniac down the football field with my gym pants still attached to him. Somehow, some, some, somehow, I don't know how to slang that. I got my other nickname, Birthmark Butt. Since then, we've been good pals despite it. Love that weird little guy. Alright, look, you keep pestering me. Didn't I tell you I was waiting for someone? Sorry, man. <sighs> I gotta be honest with you, I ain't really waiting for nobody. I'm just here at the bar to practice being casual and meeting other folks. You know, in a romantical-like manner. I always seem to say the wrong thing and scare other gators off. How was I supposed to know complimenting someone's bulging neck veins was weird? She looked real cool! Ugh, but anyways, between work and my somewhat bad personality, I don't get out much. It's so hard to just meet people in a non weird way, you know? Oh, I know. I know, man. I can relate. I wish I could just practice or something. Hey, wait a minute, that ain't a bad idea. If I could just find a buddy to practice dates on, I could be way more ready when the real deal comes along. I know you're only talking to me because Pat set you up with one of his weird wild and goose-like chases, but I ain't got a lot of friends to tell you the truth. So uh, maybe if you help me practice, I could help you out too. All these guys are like depressing. <laughs> and they're just as depressing as me, it's too relatable. What do you say, you wanna go on a fake date with a rusty edge like me? May come blushy by getting mushy. Mac that <laughs> knife. Jesus, sure. I'll mac you real good. Take a lonely lizard out on a practice date. Click to decide where to go, what to do, and how you end the evening. This better end with a Smash Brothers tournament. Great. How do you feel about a change of setting? Let's head over to my workplace and you can help me out there. Are you gonna get me to do labor for you? Oh dear god. <laughs> I wasn't ready for this. Look how the hand changed. Welcome to the hallowed halls of the Alligator International School for Gifted Yeats. You better be... Let's just see where this gets. The kids are on break right now, so it's only us lonely administrators. Me? I'm the lonely one. I need a big favor from you. See, I have a meet cute tomorrow. Meet cute? I don't know what to do or say or feel. A friend Karen who works in the front office set me up with a friend of hers. Not usually the blind date type, but she says he's really dreamy. Tall, which I like, and big, which I also like. Broad shoulders. She says he's a cool, quiet type, but he has a sense of humor and a big heart. And between you and me, she said he's a real dragon in the Dojima if you get my drift. You are telling me too much information, sir. <sighs> I wonder what she told him about me. Oh, this negative thinking is messing with my mojo. You seem like the strong silent type. You're cute enough that it intimidates me just a little. Please, you gotta help me practice for my big date. I need a boost of confidence and I need it now. He just said, yay! I mean, uh, cool, thanks. Karen arranged it off my date. We're going on an adventure first, then out to dinner, then afterwards. Who knows? <laughs> Natural laughter. So, uh, what kind of adventure would you take me on? Impress me. I'd go to the zoo. Great, let's go! Well, come on. Can't pretend we're going somewhere if we don't go somewhere. The whole school's empty, don't worry. Oh god. We are at the, um... Zoo. 
Tell the truth, I don't love the zoo. It smells kind of weird everywhere and the food's really expensive. But if you find this kind of stuff romantic, I guess I can play along. Look at that elephant. <laughs> wow, bear. Did you know that sea otters mate for life? Yeah, I know it's really a statue. You don't really want to go to the pretend zoo. I can't concentrate on romantic thoughts for all this noise. Plus, what if one of my students sees me here on a date? That would be pretty weird. Regardless, though, glad we're doing this. It's been a while since I've been on a real date, like with an itinerary. Everyone I date these days just wants to watch a TV show on an old couch. Don't get me wrong, I'm not above staying in and getting cozy, but I think a first date should be really special, you know? Hmm, what's this? You bought me a present? But I didn't bring you anything. Well, that is a change of pace. Old fashioned, but in a nice way. Gimme, gimme! You making this up? Good God, man. Got you some yummy candy, man. Mmm, candy. I'm gonna fill up before dinner, though. Thanks, but no thanks. Getting a little hungry. Eat the fucking candy bar! <laughs> the reservation! Wow, you came prepared. And dressed to impress, I see. The shirt really brings out your eyes. Everyone keeps talking about my eyes. Is that too much? I'm trying to roleplay. But it feels a little silly. You're doing great, though. So where did you want to eat? I heard you were quite the foodie. Not as much as these other dudes. I don't know. Somewhere cool. This is definitely not what I had in mind when I said somewhere cool. <laughs> Where did we go in New York or this school? We got Japanese on the walls. Hey, this place is really swanky. I'm impressed. Also, if it is a Japanese restaurant, there wouldn't be this many seats. <laughs> I don't think giving advice to middle schoolers. I love my students, but they can be real cool sometimes. So yeah, I know how middle school will be. The other day, one of them told me outright that I wasn't going to get married because my jacket was ugly. It's like, hey kid, you do the best you can when, when you have to buy clothes on an educated salary. Look at me. Finally get out of school and can't stop talking about the munchkins. Ugh, yes, you can totally change the topic to me. Your scales are so shiny. Your tail is so long. You have such perfect teeth. Duh. I mean, that is noticeable. I can't see his tail. And the scales do not look shiny. Oh, thanks. You have a nice smile, too. This is me, while playing awkward silence. Come on, my date's gotta be more charming than that. I'm gonna pretend you said I was cute and move on. <laughs> I feel like I can really be myself around you. It's been a while since I probably need to choose specific options for this thing. <laughs> Not a long while. It's, it's just hard for me to meet other alligators. I don't do this very often. Stop laughing. This is precisely why I wanted to practice. I'm trying to say is I'm having a really good time with you because you know this is a dating simulator now. We're always having a good time. Don't have any plans after dinner when I come to the Spring Festival with me? You've lived in Alligator, New York City for how long? You've never been to the East River Spring Festival, man. How long have I been here? I don't know anything about me except I got big eyes. You have to come with me, it's food. Even though we're eating food, carnival, games, and the whole thing ends with a big fireworks show. What do you say we split the check and head over? Flag down the waiter then. Let's go get out of here. I'm so confused. <sighs> Sorry, I'm being such a kid. Even when we lived in Alligator, Jersey, my family would drive into the city for the big festival. Thanks for indulging me as a reward. You get to pick the first thing we do. No, no, I've been coming here since I was little. It's your first time, what looks fun to you? Carnival game. Oh, I love carnival games. Karen told me you're pretty competitive. Not like in a bad way. I'll tell you what, if you win me that big platypus doll, he seems to have taken the submissive role. He is dating a guy, right? I'll tell you what. Alright, yeah, I'll definitely be impressed. A reward? Win the game first, Mr. Tough Guy. Then we'll talk. Blush. Ah, what a night, that guy in the bear costume and all the pretty lights. 
No, for the first time, you really seem warming up to the festival. I don't believe you had fun. You never know with this kind of thing. I, I really wanted you to have a good time. To be honest, I wasn't sure I was even going to come out tonight. Did we even go anywhere besides the school? You were really in this. A lot of people are scared of me. Would you believe me? It's not like I'm some kind of scary gangster roaming the streets. Stop getting closer. <laughs> Trying to work for repeatedly challenging the same person to end the street balls. You mean you're not living the Kunio Kun life, man? You look just like you should be. While slowly building my reputation as a mad dog who will fight anyone and anything, relentlessly punishing all that stand in the way of my personal goals. Hey, it looks like the fireworks are starting. Come with me, I know the perfect place to watch. What did I tell you? The view from here is incredible, right? I better see some fireworks, man. Your fantasy. I, I had fun tonight. I hope you did too. For Karen's sake. I mean, she takes matchmaking really seriously and she's been hounding me for months to finally meet you. Ugh, why am I talking about Karen right now? Come on. Say the right thing. That's what I'm really trying to say here is... Glad we got to do something I really like tonight. I feel like we get along. You know, we don't have much in common. I think we're headed in opposite directions after this, though. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> See you around. Oh, no! I failed! Alright, well, he liked the carnival games, so I guess I'll play again. I'm not gonna read all the dialogue, then. I think the carnival games was the only correct answer I gave. Is there a way I can, like, figure out which ones he wants? He didn't care about the zoo. Oh no. You wanna go to the botanical garden? That seemed neutral to me. Oh, okay, there you go. So he likes trees. I'm not gonna read the rest of this. That was a lot to read. My throat is actually getting sore. This game is quite the workout on the vocal cords. <laughs> this is the same. He didn't want to eat the candy. He likes trees, so maybe he's just a traditional dude. I don't know if he would want a toy. Alright, there, we got him pegged. I'm not sure if somewhere cool was good either. Man, he doesn't care about that. Maybe it's a detail you can't really, like, see. He wants you to notice. I guess he just wanted me to say the first thing, like his skills. He mentioned that too. He said he just called me cute. I don't know how this is gonna go. He better give me a kiss after this. <laughs> and I was mashing buttons. We're lucky the carnival option was right there because I didn't mean to mash that. How much time do I have overall? How many retries of things can I do? Dude, the knife is the hardest guy to please. <laughs> I just get to the options, my man. I must have your badge. You wanted the botanical garden. I need to tell him his scales look good. Cool and cozy didn't do anything, so maybe fancy. Oh no, he doesn't like fancy. I guess cool was the right response, maybe. Do I lose again because of that, or will we be able to get like enough hearts? <clears throat> I don't know. 
I gotta do carnival. Well, that's probably a carnival game. So I've never played a dating sim really fully. I'm sure one day I will. I don't know why. God damn it, you have to get all of it. I can't do it again. I suck. I tried more than you know, knife. <laughs> I'm just destined to be the lone creep leaning on jukebox playing Steely Dan on repeat, trying to look cool. Damn it! I want to reload my save, but I don't know how that works. Don't fail me now, Steely. Oh, good! I get to try it again. That's a waste of 15 minutes. I've wasted so much time on this guy. But now I'm, I'm pretty committed. <laughs> God damn it. I still don't know what school building option to pick. Also, why do I have to appease him so much? Okay, I didn't pay attention to that detail before, so it was cool. Good fucking god, there's no way I can possibly lose this. If I lose this, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Give me your badge. Finally. Wow, that was actually kind of freaking magical if I'm being totes real with you. I really feel like I learned a lot actually, but you know, Knife, you didn't learn anything because you were supposed to be hitting on me, okay? All we did was talk about you, which is really selfish and not a good way to go about dating. Dodgies! Kinda of flappy in my guts. It must be that knuckle sandwich coming back to haunt me. Yeah, that's the ticket. That said, I don't really know a lot about the event, but I know that I'll be there at least on account of being invited by Pat's mom. Maybe we can hang out at the event, I mean. Not like outside of it, like it's a thing. Ah, natural laughter. Okay. Good God, it's 1.38. We wasted like the entire 12th hour. What are you staring at, chump? Put those peepers away before I yank them clear out of your skull. Bobby Blue Eyes. What, you think you're a tough guy or something? You can roll in here in a pinstripe suit not dissimilar to my own share passing glance of me. Well, you got another thing coming to you, pally, and it ain't nothing good. Around these parts, I'm the toughest guy you're gonna meet. Don't you think you can sidle into my bar and lock eyes casually with me across the room? You'll be sorry when I pull those babies out and make them into twin Nokis. Nochi. Noki? That's, I know that's the thing in the soup. <laughs> I'll let you guess what the red sauce is, but you ain't gonna like it. Who are you, Pally? Your name's Bobby Blue Eyes. Don't you forget it, because it's gonna be etched on your tombstone. Wait, on your tombstone would be your name. My name would be... Hey! Just because I got confused about our society's rituals surrounding mortality doesn't mean you can look away. We're having a conversation here. Pat, that little jabroni is my first cousin once removed. Kind of like how I'm about to remove your eyes, as I mentioned previously in the conversation. You think the red sauce thing was too far? Maybe it was a bit too far. Now I'm testing out some new tough guy material uh, tonight, so it's a bit hit or miss. 
<laughs> this is eyebrows. Bobby ain't spilling family secrets. Come on, Bobby. Unless... There you go, Bobby. You prove you're tough to me. The toughest guy in Alligator, New York City. It ain't gonna be easy, though. I'll make sure of that. Let's you and me play a little game called Three Finger Filet. Who are you two, chicken? Knife to meet you. Mirror this cuckoo without getting a boo-boo. You playing a knife game, really? This is a PG game. Carefully watch how Bobby stabs the table. Copy his pattern on your side. Be careful to avoid your fingies. Gotta avoid your fingies. You ready for this tough guy? This game is too adult. Oh, we're using spoons? Come on, what was that? Oh. It's the opposite side. What? I'm confused. Why did I get it wrong the first time? Wow, you did that four times. That's impressive. But how many more times do you think you can pull that off? With a spoon? The fuck? <laughs> what happened to my spoon? I don't know if I can actually hit my fingers. Wow, five times. Not bad. Let's hit the ante a bit, shall we? You want me to get my knife out of my suitcase? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What? what is that? That knife is terrific. Terrific. Yes, perfect for a tough guy. Uh, let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping it would come to that. <laughs> so funny. They do say slow though. Like it would have been funny if there was more impact to that. A little funnier. Dude, our alligator is not fucking around. <laughs> he is the most serious guy in this town. But we're just trying to figure out a stupid mystery. Oh yeah, I fucked that up. It's outside, inside. Outside, inside, outside, over here, over here. Hey, not bad, kid. Got all the way to six. I bet you think you're a real tough guy with those increasingly ludicrous knives you really had on your personage. But check this out. Gun? Sorry, my thingy! Could you put a band-aid on it, please? <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Got a blow on it. Come on, man. You stabbed your finger with a spoon. Barely. What a wimp. That's it. I don't want to play tough guy with you no more. You ruined it by going too far, and now look what happened. I may never play bass guitar again. Oh, jeez. You're a real tough customer, I'll give you that. You found a happy thing, so leave those preposterous knives at home. Now go, leave me with my band-aid and my misery. Oh. 
Ouchie. Whew. What do you want? Your pal, the city aficionado here. I just want to make sure you know about this cool local place called Nana Roo's Antiques. Know what you're thinking. Antiques are for grandmas. You're right. The whole shop is run by a grandma. Well, a Nana. Nana Roo. There's a great local legend about the place that it's super haunted by like five billion ghosts. Nice emote. What's really haunting though is the prices! Raffle! Ha! <laughs> Just a little shopping humor from me to you. I'm not really rolling on the floor. Anyway, Nana Roo is as much of a card shark as she is a deal shark, so be careful. If you have time, defo check out her colorful shop. It is tons of fun. Oh, I guess I'm done here. Anything else? Ah. 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 I've wasted so much time in this bar. It's two o'clock. I guess we can only go to one more location. That should be all this stuff done. Let's go visit... He didn't tell me where Nana's thing was. It's probably downtown. There's only two more locations. Uh... I guess I'll go downtown. We'll have fun last. But yeah, while we're on this train... Yeah, I gotta click on that. Very stand up looking alligator over there. Oh, there's Nana Roos. Okay. Find us some puzzle pieces, some random spots. We got a quartet hanging on the street. We got another dude sleeping in a car. I don't know what this guy's deal is. Got another puzzle piece. Hello. 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 I sell bug. Alright, let's uh. Let's... Apparently, I can talk to this person. But not really. Start with this guy, sleepy pants. Man, I'm so totally asleep right now. Love being asleep. Liar. Sleepy pants, you wake your sassafras. Alright. About the quartet. Denise. Hello. 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 Hey. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're the downtown quartet and we'll sing you songs. It's not a very short one, but it's all straight on. We'll sing it in the morning and we'll sing it past noon. We've had a lot of noise complaints and we'll be gone soon. Hit the solo, Marlies. To jail. <laughs> Sorry. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Dennis, Luis, Patrice, Marlies. We're Pat's aunt and uncles, he's their darling nephew. Well, except for Luis, he's just part of the crew. Take a Luis. Oh, baby, I'm not related to bats. No, nothing like that. I'm just the guy they know that takes part in this show. Oh, oh. Whoa, dude, pull it back. Sorry. Alright, so. Those three. I mean, we'll figure it out. We can't tell you much, but we'll sing like a bird. Alright. If you can help us with their act, we will tell you all that we heard. Get them a solo without triggering an oh no. Barbershop upset. I'll play. 
When the scrolling bar shares a singer's background, point the spotlight at them. Let's first warm up our vocal cords. Keep an eye on the scrolling bar at the bottom. Shine the spotlight at the singer with the matching background. When the groovy disco pattern appears, shine the spotlight at the disco bar. Ball. We'll all sing together. Ready, gentlemen? Ready, maestro? Wait, I don't want her. Oh, the background. Oh, wait. Okay, I get it. Oh, that's none of them. Or that's the disco ball. This is hard. Oh my god. I failed horribly. I didn't know what was happening at first, but now I know what's happening. How much leeway do you have for this? There, so that felt pretty good. What do you think, fellas? Not enough Patrice time. Patrice demands more solo time. Okay, one more time for Patrice. Not giving Patrice enough solo time still. <laughs> Patrice is getting no solo time. God, I hate the, the one on the left. <clears throat> well, to my ears, that sounded. I feel like I could have had more team Bray. Team Bray, come on. Singing word. I'm a real singer. I'm and I'm gonna prove it. Okay, okay. Last time. All right, everyone, give it everything you got. <laughs> Cracks me up. Everyone's like decent except for the one on the left. He's ridiculous. Okay, got it. First try. Dodgies. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Hey, where's the fourth one? Come on, man. Oh, right, sorry. Oh jeez. You helped us with our song and improve our content. Now what we're gonna tell you is we're booked at the event. Thanks for all your help and now we'll see you in a wink. Unless we get arrested, then please bring us from the clink. I like him. Alright, dude. George. The Breeze. The Practicing Quartet. What a perfect day to be a live alligator. Even though it gets noisy sometimes, I love living in the city. It's so full of life and good burger joints. Ah, oh, I'm so content. I love the city. 
Alright, George is having a really good time. Papuli! Bugs, bugs for sale. More than one, even. Unlike what the sign implies. Yeah, I sell bugs here. No, not for baiting, for eating. We're alligators. We eat bugs. Which is something you know because you exist here canonically. Anyway, get bug buying or good buying, kiddo. I ain't got all day. Because I gotta sell bugs to feed my family with different bugs, which I buy with an alligator currency. <sighs> Tough life. Tough life. Who are you? Most people call me Papuli, but my real name is Mortimer Giles Jr., the third and a half. On account of my grandfather being perfectly bisected by a wheat thresher during the Great Depression. Miraculously, he survived. But his life wasn't without his problems, such as how it was hard to see him when he turned directly to the side. Grandpa, where are you? We'd call. There's no avail. He's already slipped through a crack in the decorative linoleum. I don't know what that is. It's the last time we ever saw him. And also when those basement sounds started up. <laughs> Look at me rambling here to a youth about cellar screams and the like. Yeah, you know who Pat is? Eh, did you say Pat? Well, that's my grandson's name. And also the name of the nurse that comes to massage the kinks out of my tail on Tuesdays. You mean Pat or Pat? You have to speak up. I'm hard of hearing. Due to a condition where I stop listening mid-sentence and think about the war. Eh, event. I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. I have a selective memory disorder, you see, in that I forget about things I don't really want to go to. Understandable. I think a lot of people are afflicted with such disease. Perhaps you could jog this old man's memory if you helped me out with a little mini game. You see, the only mini games I have left of my dear late wife Martha is also right, the victim of a weak pressure incident. I can't seem to put it back together again. Oh, how I'd give anything to see Martha's sweet smile again. Can't help this old softy gaze upon his lost love once more. Make my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Get the pieces glued for the salty. The little innuendo in here. Unintentional, probably. Click a block to slide it into the empty space. We assemble the picture to gaze upon the alligator's beautiful wife. Oh, no. Not this. Beep, 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 beep. Uh... Beep, beep, beep. Do I have like infinity time for this? Shit. I don't know where this goes. I assume it's like this and this. This pie goes here in the middle. Yup, ta! That's it! That's my Martha! Oh, lovely dear Martha! I'll always remember the sound of his sweet voice in there. Cutscene. Oh dear, it seems you've seen the other side now with my secret wife. Could you put this one back together too? If not for me, then for creepy old coot grandpas everywhere. So like doctors getting a baby out?
Okay, that is like that. That's actually correct. This needs to be down there. This probably doesn't go here. This goes here. These go here. What goes here? Just the empty space? way to fix this. This is backwards too, right? No, this looks accurate. Maybe. This goes higher, I'm starting to think now. This is the top. Looks like you're not very good at this. I've been insulted. Uh... Ah, now in principle I must finish this. get these two around the way I want. <laughs> uh, 
She's got to be in the middle. This guy on the left. Sort of like that. This goes here. side I'm <laughs> just realizing can you solve these puzzles when you've got like a row you're not working with This might not be accurate too, because this does look accurate. I think this is the blank. Now how can I get the rest of this where I need the rest of this to be? Literally I just need these flips. <laughs> Yatta! 
<laughs> I knew I was on to it. Jesus, suck at that shit. Ugh. Oh, Gurdy. Good old Gurdy, it's been years since I've looked upon your sweet curly hair and your man-breaking arms. Thank you so much for your help, stranger. Thanks to you, I'm reunited both of my lost loves. Martha passed years ago, but Gurdy is just in witness protection. You know, I'm all man-breaking. What a firecracker, that gal. On cold days, I can still feel... Feel the phantom broken body pain she left me. Eh, event? Oh, you mean tonight's event? Well, I can tell you, it's on past my bedtime. You young folk love staying up late. Me, I'm in bed by six, nightly, after a modest dinner of soft bug puddings. Before the seven episodes of Soft Fleets on public broadcast. Anyway, kiddo, thanks again for helping me out, should I say, helping three out. Yeah! <laughs> Don't tell my grandkids, and look, here's a little something for your trouble. Aw, oh, jeez. <laughs> One of those flies has been bitten out of... 3.30, we don't have a lot of time left. I need to be back by 4. I guess I can try the antique shop. The puzzle piece, I saw that. Diamond Alice. Hey, hey, look at me. You wanna hear my poem? It's called Shiny Tiny Miny Little Thing. Hey, kiddo, little kiddo, here it is. Shiny tiny miny little thing, what are you? Then it said I'm a shiny tiny mini little thing. Did you like it? I wrote it um in my head because I can't write on papers yet. Except for my name and except for butt. Papa didn't like when I rated it on grandma. Alright, who are you? I'm Alice, and I'm four years old. I'm gonna eat the whole world, and when I get older, I'm gonna be an ice cream truck king. You wanna smell what's in my pocket? No. Pat? Pat, 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 or Pat? Pat's my cousin. I brought him gummy worms, and, when he, and he eats it. But then, I showed him it was real worms that I found under my bird bath in the backyard. Pat doesn't come to babysit me anymore. Alright, it's a secret. I'm not as opposed to tell nobody about it. Papa said if I did, Grandma would be real mad. Even more mad than when I righted butt on her butt. Alright, can you help me with my snack? Maybe if you did, then it'd be okay. I want to eat all the pancakes, but only if they're on my special plate. I don't like to eat pancakes that's not on my special plate because it doesn't taste as pancakey. You know how it is. Don't put the smaller ones under the bigger ones either. I don't like that. Yeah, what's up, Lady Russ? <laughs> The way you stack me the pancakes, I I will stack you the pancakes. Do you have what it takes to stack up pancake? Flowers of uh, 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 annoy? Flowers of annoy? I couldn't read that. This is new. I want to try out just uh something different. Stack the pancakes on Alice's special plate. You can only stack a pancake on an empty plate or on top of a larger pancake. Watch out, each time you move a pancake, Alice gets hungrier. Okay. Plate with the A on it, that's my special plate. I'm gonna eat all these pancakes, I want them stacked perfectly on my special plate. A big one can't go on a little one. Oh, it's this thing. There's like a methodology to this, right? I forget how this puzzle goes. Is she gonna eat it if I put it here? No? Okay.
Yay! Wait, that's... What's the sound? Oh my gosh, the train is in the station. Hmm, that was a good first course. I have to do this before she gets... You can't do that to me. No. The fuck. Pick it up and slap it down. What is this pancake sound effect? I need to fix this. This doesn't really fix it at all. Hold on. Why don't I do that backwards? I'm so stupid. That, I was like, what is my problem? What am I doing wrong? I put it on the wrong plate. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't swear in front of baby. There's a four-year-old kid that wrote butt on her grandma's butt. I think she's edgy enough. She can handle swear. <laughs> What does the train sound kind of funny though? Does the train sound of kind of funny? Well, better not. up somehow. Right, this couldn't stay there. Wait a minute. This thing needs to fucking slap you off there. There. It's not complicated, man. It's not complicated. There. Eat your pancakes. Because she's four years old and there is a method to the madness. A method that we must abide by. I ate a lot of pancakes. I feel real, real stomach achy but accomplished. We got a family member badge. Oh, jeez. Maybe I'm gonna lay here a while. There's gonna be a cake at the thingy tonight, and I wanna eat it, so I gotta regain my cake stamina. Thanks for help. I'm gonna go sleep beeps now. Alright. Hey, it's me again, Pat. It's almost four, and I could really use your help. Do you know anything about shoes and the wearing of them therein? A couple things. Perfect! Could you come meet me at my hotel room? Just make sure you aren't followed by any shifty characters, or college-age canvassers and cargo shorts. I already gave all my dollar bills to that guy pretending to be a statue outside 4th Street. I am on my way. What the fuck is this game? So, we are trying to solve this... 
Pat the alligator thinks he's gonna be murdered and we're talking to his family but so far everything points out to a birthday party it's just gonna be a birthday party and uh, most of these alligators are fucked up <laughs> Hello, esteemed guest. Mr. Pat asked me to inform you to come straight to his hotel room upon arrival. He also asked me to warn you to knock first in case he was wearing pants. But not to say that second part out loud. Kindly forget what I just said and come with me. I'll walk you to Mr. Pat's room at one. I want to talk to the other guy in the cargo shorts. That was exactly who he warned me not to speak with. I wanted to speak with him. If you'd be so kind as to click and drag along this hallway, we should arrive shortly. <laughs> fucking walk cycle. Look at this guy. Oh my, how embarrassing. Please don't tell the internet we've had a biohazardous incident. Again. That's all good, man. That's all good. Thank you for your patience. Esteemed guest, we have now arrived. Mr. Pat is expecting you. Please just knock in case he's... Have a Johnny of a day! <laughs> Welcome back. I was just trying on some pa... Nothing. I wasn't doing anything, actually. His diary... I never noticed that before. <clears throat> So, so, have you talked to more of my family? Found out any secret plans? You think they're throwing me a... No, no, you're totally wrong about that. I would definitely know if they were doing that. Plus, it sounds a little far-fetched, don't you think? You can't pull one over on old Pat on his birthday. That's what I always say. Well, I say it sometimes, like, once a year. No way, they're definitely putting together a systematic plan to end my moderate to small life. But I appreciate you putting the thought in. Maybe if you talk to a few more people, you'll find out something we can really use. In the meantime, though, I actually called you back here because I needed your help. See, I'm having a problem. Shoe-related problem. I don't usually wear them. But I figured if I did tonight, maybe I'd have better luck hot-footing it out of the event to safety if I need to. This year isn't my usual shoeless, pantsless nature, but the drawers, drawers where I actually keep all my things. Last week, my Nana Roo gifted me an antique armoire from her shop as an early birthday present. Big, spacious, practical, and so super haunted that it's leaving a weird stain on the parquet flooring just by existing. I haven't been able to find any of my shoes. Whenever I open a drawer, weird stuff happens. Here, why don't you see for yourself? By playing this mini game, Peru's for shoes. Soul searching. Find a pair of Pat's favorite shoes by clicking on these suspicious drawers. Be careful, if Pat gets too scared, he'll give up on shoes forever. For each round, the contents of the drawers will shuffle around. Spooky. Help me find my shoes, please. Mm, not in the top row. Anxiety. Hey, a shoe. Let's find the other. Gross stuff. Oh my. <gasps> hey, a shoe! Let's find the other. Wait, am I supposed to open them up? Okay. Alright. Hey, a shoe! Let's find the other. So, oh, it's memory match. Great, we made a pair.
Yo, a shoe. Let's find another. Why would that make you anxious? Gross stuff. Even our guy is taken aback by this shit. <laughs> Empty. 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 <laughs> Did we kill you? There's some fucked up stuff going on here. Alright, so that's a shoe, this is a shoe. Okay. Good god, man. Round three. Of course, the big drawer has a big eye in it. That's that. Oh, I did these four already. I'm done. I keep finding gross stuff. Alright, so it's neither of these six. Found the shoe. It's not that. That's new. Only s <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> there you go. Almost lost. My shoes! You have to mess up multiple times to fail that. I can't believe it. You found all three pairs of shoes that I own. Every shoe kind is represented here. Brown, Sneakies, and Tropicals. You know, looking at them now is kind of giving me performance anxiety, actually. Maybe I should just go bare flipper like I usually do. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just so nervous and not thinking straight. Sorry I made you come back here for nothing, but I really appreciate that you did. Oh, jeez. Alright. I'm so glad we met today. You're the best pal I've had in a long time. <laughs> We're getting all mushy. You get back out there and dig up more dirt and I'll text you just before. Go. The event. See you later, investigator. After a while, pray to dial. Uh, I didn't get to talk to the guy there. Oh boy, company. Give me a moment. It's gonna take some time to rouse my polite small talk face. I'm just enjoying two or eight cups of coffee here at the bar. Bub tries to stop filling my mug after four, but I know his weakness. Strangulation. Don't talk to me before I've had my coffee or before noon or at night or on weekend and weekdays. Essentially, don't talk to me. Hmm. Alright, so nothing new from them. Let's put together more of the family tree since we're here. I have lots of family photos for you to figure out your family. I'll play! Alright. Let's see if I remember shit here. We got little girl. We got... Quartet guy, quartet guy, grandpa. Alright, so the family tree is in the reverse, so grandpa should be over here somewhere. He said he was a direct grandfather, there you go. Papu D, 84. Old man. We got asshole, asshole. This dude's like a teacher. He's completely unrelated to the kid. There you go. The knife. 
this guy is a first cousin. This is another one of them. Got a tall boy who is like another cousin. One of these dudes is unrelated? I think this guy? No, this guy is the one who's unrelated. And then... Alright, this guy's sister is dating him. So he would be somewhere else on the tree entirely. I don't know who his sister is, though. I mean, we could just guess. He wouldn't be over there. He over here? No. He wouldn't be there either. Oh, there you go. Stinky Alley Man. Part time dumpster diver. Guy is a first cousin, so he should be, s I would assume, somewhere over here. Not there. He's a cousin, he should be in one of the kid lines. Oh. <laughs> really? Jared is the brother of him. Okay. Right, yeah, hold on. I think we need that. These guys are second cousins. So they're probably over here. No. Oh, that's her. Okay, yeah. They have a kid? Oh, uh, no, they have another sibling. This guy is a cousin. I don't know in what lineage. He said he's a first cousin, so... Apparently he's over here. And Bobby is the father of this dude. Oh god. This girl... I don't know where she would fit in yet, because we had to come back. She should be in one of these. Yeah, that makes sense. Four fingers. Literal child. Literal child. And most of these idiots are cousins. No, alright, wait. This is an aunt. And this is an uncle. Or that's the uncle. So, aunt, sister of her. Or sister of the guy. Assuming this is the father, right? So... If they're not there... They shouldn't be any lower than this if they are aunts and uncles to Pat. There's like no additional space for them to be. Alright, where do you go? It wouldn't make sense for them to be anywhere else. He goes there? What? Is that the outlier guy? One of them was an outlier. Well, it's only so many spaces. All right, so she's the aunt. This is the uncle. Okay. He was the outlier. Luis was the outlier. And this guy is... I don't even know who this guy is. <laughs> Game will just tell me, I guess. It's not a big deal. He wouldn't be up high. Maurice is apparently the father of the little girl. Alright, cool. Thanks again, dear. Come back anytime. Where's your husband at? Alright. I still need to finish with downtown. And then we can go to the fun district. I think we have until 10. So I wasn't done here. 
<clears throat> Played with the little girl. Got another puzzle piece. How am I doing on this? I'll look in a second. Another puzzle piece. Well, we have over half. Alright, let's talk to you, Black Widow. You're late. I've been waiting here for an hour. What do you mean you do not work here? Well, it's not as if you can fault me for thinking so, what with the drab wardrobe and pathetic sunken eyes. I've heard everyone say good things about my eyes. I like this Ouija board. Yup and naw. Peace out. Everything here has the clear stink of death upon it. Oh, except for me, of course. I'm merely a poor, poor woman in deep mourning. Not at all one involved in mysterious circumstances the police cannot explain. Who are you, harlot? I'm merely a lonely widow left behind for the great beyond by my beloved late husband, Horace. Oh, Horace. It's always such a wonderful wisp of a man. I'm gonna assume the two assholes that divided up the rich guy's treasure, father's treasure, she's his wife, widow. Even as most poisoned, he forever remained regal, kind, and absurdly wealthy. Now in his absence, I find myself trying to take comfort in the metaphysical arts. If only I could hear his sweet, strained voice once more. Pat, you mean the one with the ridiculous hat? Yes, I am aware of him. Terrible stain on the bloodline, that Papuli fellow. Created all sorts of nonsensical cousins for myself and my dear children. Once removed, at the very least, though, it is of little comfort to me. Especially when I see someone like Patrick vault over a coffee table at the holidays. He thought he saw the spider's man, or whatever nonsense. Alright. I'm picking up the pieces or putting down, guys. Oh, I can't even imagine attending the event un unchaperoned. Only my poor dear husband had been less poisoned. I wouldn't have to suffer such horrific indignities. Well, no one would think of me and my feelings. Your questions grow tiresome. Don't you see you're riling up the vapors? What are you, the lead detective investigating the mysterious circumstances around my late husband's untimely demise? How dare you? I've had no rest for the past week. Whenever I close my eyes, I'm visited by Horace's specter, reaching out to me. Perhaps trying to send me information about some secret treasure he wanted me to inherit on top of the rest of his vast estate. Will nothing stop his ceaseless hauntings? You can only find it in your heart to help this poor widow. I can give you the information you seek. Just use the spirit board to contact Horace and please find out what my dear late husband wants. Or what kind of evidence he has. <sighs> Come a dark patron of this terrifying matron. The bargain of earthly defrights. I'll play this game. Follow the ghost through the eye of the planchette. He could get tricky. The faster you move, the more suspicious the widow gets. Magical insight into the dearly departed. I have my suspicions. Prove to me you can contact my beloved late husband or I shall out you as a charlatan to the entire mean ladies bridge club. What am I doing?
I wonder if the suspicion level has been rising or what. Alright, well, I can't see up there. It is rising a little bit. Oh, there it is. It, it does seem like my horse. Perhaps it really could be him. I just have to find him initially. Could contact with the astral be possible? Tell us more, Horace. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, say, if you know the circumstances around your own death. Uh, I just. God. I want to see more of the background before we just found Horace, but I guess we'll just finish this. I win! I'm gonna go to family member B Angel jeez. Oh jeez. It is almost too much to be believed. Indeed, my very foundations are ruffled. He loves me. My horse said he loves me even in his afterlife. What a prince among ghosts. And a special specter. What a special specter my horse is. And so gullible. Thank you, dearie. You've given an old widow reason to smile again. And also an airtight alibi. Oh, I must go tell the children at once and also hide some sensitive items in the toilets, perhaps. I simply don't have any more time to discuss the event with you today. Farewell, my medium. I mean, could she admit that she committed murder any harder? Hey, city pal! I was just wondering, since we've been texting a bunch, uh, have you heard of 9th Street Station at all? I haven't. Uh, yeah, I didn't think so. It's, uh, well, it's been closed for a few years, not a lot going on there since then. Still got some of the most beautiful architecture of all the underground stops in the city, IMO. I really like to go there, actually. I was just thinking, um... If you ever wanted to stop by there, maybe I could meet you. No pressure or anything. You'd probably have to really help a conductor out to even get access. It's pretty underground, Raffle. Okay, I was actually on the floor that time, but I fallen unrelated to laughing. Anyway, haha. -ha, don't worry about 9th Street. You can forget what I said. Never give people an out. Man, that's... Mmm, mmm. Now you conversate. You wanna meet up with me, you say, go there and do this. I'd be like, alright, bitch. <laughs> anyway, we'll go there and do that later. I can walk into the back? What are you? Leonard. I used to be a porcelain doll, but I came to life because of the magic of this shop. At least it's what I tell my ex-wife so I can come sit here all day. I've got a good butt groove going in this shelf. Am I doing up here? I don't know. What are you doing down there? Check and mate. Touche, brother. Can't believe the magic of the shop and the belief in the hearts of children everywhere brought me to life and made me a real boy. A real 44-year-old boy with high cholesterol and everything. Dot, 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 dot. Alright. Madame. Welcome to Nana Roos. Where if there's ooze on your shoes, it's just cause of the booze. Taunted as all get out in here, sweetheart, to mine the ectoplasm. So, are you interested in buying some antiques for me today, Dollface? We just got in a huge new shipment of designer grandma plates never meant to be eaten on. 
as well as a bunch of confusing teddy bears from the 70s with realistic plastic faces. My pen, not for sale, cash only. I can get you a real deal on one of those if that's your fancy. This is a $90 record player, it's not a bad deal. Is that your fancy? <laughs> I know you kids are into weird stuff these days. Yes, sir, I see you over there. I'll be with you in a minute. Well, sugar pie, as the sign may have alerted you, I'm the one and only Nana Lu herself. Purveyor of only the finest antique goods and the finest antique store owners. <laughs> Go on, honey, tell me I'm looking good for my age. Alice, stop harassing the customers. My sweet, sweet Patrick. He's my absolute shortest grandson. Why, it feels like only yesterday. He would run about the shop squealing about ghosts trying to eat his kidneys and hiding in humorously oversized vases. As you can probably tell by my expression, that actually was yesterday. That boy might not be playing with a full deck. <laughs> you, hey you, be careful with that vase, it's expensive. Aw, oh, so Pat's inviting his little friends to the event. Isn't that cute? He's such a darling, that boy. I'll be closing the shop early to get over there on time tonight. Gotta strain all the ghosts out my wig before the shindig, you know? Those things tend to hitch a ride. Gonna catch a ride. Alright, yes, sir, I see you waiting there. I'll be with you in a minute. But first, I gotta play a game with this guy. <clears throat> Unless you defeat me at a round of cards. What do you say, sweetheart? Think you can hold. You can out old the old maid? Are we playing old maid? <sighs> Uh, I haven't played Old Maid in forever. House rules, the younger player goes first. I know which one I, one I want you to pick. I want to guess this cheats. I'll get you next time, youth. You seem nervous. I knew today would be a lucky day. How many cards are left? Never mind, just take one. Oh, I'll get you next turn, I know it. <clears throat> I have a good feeling about this pick. I mean, you can't pick wrong. Hey there, doll. He spaced out there for a second. Uh... <laughs> I seem nervous. I can't lose the game, ma'am. <laughs> Alright. Kind of wanted to see what the card looked like, but... Well, my stars and garters, you really beat me fair and square. Aw, oh, jeez. Yeah, if you see my older sister Constance around, you should try to coerce her into playing around with a doll like you. I think you get a real kick out of it. Just don't stare at her cards. It's a little feisty about that. So about the event, make sure you get there at 8 sharp. If you get the dawdling, you might miss the big surprise. It's sure to knock Pat's socks off. Wait, does he wear socks? He one of the shoe-wearing alligators or the non-shoe alligators? Well, something will get knocked off the boy. We'll make sure of it. <laughs> Buono giorno, city pal here. Did you know that's how they say hello in Italy? At least is what it said on the back of my Chris Bracey's box today. Si. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, we speak the language. <laughs> There's lots of different alligators from all over the world here in Alligator, New York City. That's why they call it the melting pot. Not because of that strange smell the sidewalk gives off in hot weather as I originally thought. If you want to meet any interesting people during your stay, maybe you should start on a trolley since everyone uses it. You never know who you might strike up a conversation with there. Or who might throw a bag of hair at you and then run away. That's the big city of you, full of surprises. Big city for you. I already go back here first. Alright, we got two puzzle pieces. Three puzzle pieces. This guy doesn't seem interactable. Excuse me, stranger. Can I trouble you for just a moment? See, I need to seal the deal on a big sale. I'm talking huge. Ten foot tall coat rack for exceptionally affluent and tall alligators. Keep an eye on my granddaughter napping and let me know if she's getting fussy. Angel Face is a very good girl, so I don't anticipate you having any weird problems or strange happenings at all. None! Keep your peepers on his monitor and play her little music as she starts to wake up or throw in her nightlight. Yada yada, you get it. I'm playing Five Nights at Freddy's. Just doing a babysit, nothing weird about it. Yup, I'm just a stranger in the town and they're trusting me watching her like three year old girl. Don't let ghosts possess the baby. Target ghosts by highlighting them with the ghost finder on the right. Damage ghosts by using the monitor functions or with the brightest light. I don't know how that works. What she does with her day. I'm parenting 101 here. Move the slowest. Spook proof. Way too many ghosts coming after this kid. Sleeping like the tiniest baby's baby tiny angel. Oh jeez. There was someone younger. Hey, the task here is such a bore, but I do appreciate you helping an old gal out. 
Tell you what, any items with water, fire, beaver. Texting me. Hey, are you there? It's Pat. Sad faces. I know we haven't figured out what the family's totally nefarious secret is yet. Well, but maybe if we walked there together, I'd feel safer. Is that okay? Ah, uh, I'm on my way. No, 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 no. I wanted to do the thing with the bus and the thing and the bus and the thing. Is it really that much time has passed? Sleezarius. Well, hello and pleasant evening, my good chum. Didn't mean to startle you. Oh no, I didn't mean to startle you. Not I. He who. You see, it is within my very nature to skulk. Mysteriously around corners and the like in deft silence. As my mother was a mysterious slipper designer and my father was mysteriously absent. But a joke, tis but a joke. Oh, but enough about me, what about you? You seem like an alligator with an agenda as well. Perhaps a mysterious agenda. Well, that's just fine, my friend. That's just fine. He who, you know. They say mysterious agendas are the best agendas of all. I can only see salacious ones. Perhaps yours is a little of both. You have a blog I can follow. I got the puzzle piece. I see you noticing my hat, but tread carefully, my dear. Tread carefully. He <laughs> who this hat and the secret alligator society it symbolizes have led me down many a dark and terrible road. I might too assume that the. Alright, I follow. Let's just community potlucks. So spaghetti is so al dante. Dante. Your very soul will ponder the multitudes it requires to do it. Yee hee hee hoo hee. Don't get me started on that mysterious rummage sale. Probably the last thing he says. <clears throat> Fifth, William the Fourth. Sleeping up here. Flower, take me back. Hey, oh, jeez. Determination. Man, we've been out and about all day. Alright, Johnny, John Johnny's. I'm really hoping the game takes an unexpected turn for the hilarious. Oh, welcome back, esteemed guests. This dude is fucking panicking. I'm afraid our kitchen is closed early for a closed event in the hotel ballroom tonight. I have provided Mr. Pat with some complimentary stale oyster crackers and tap water. If you'll follow me, I can show you to his room. <coughs> Pardon me, we'll begin walking at your leisure. Bub. Bub. Why you gotta look so suspicious? My, what? Beautiful wallpaper we have, so rich and distracting. Can I, like, do anything here? I don't know if it's trying to, like, let me go elsewhere. Maybe not trying to let me, but if I had the opportunity to go elsewhere. No, now that I pay attention to the wallpaper, just notice the crocodiles in the flower. Hey, bub. You wanna, uh... I'm gonna look elsewhere. We've arrived. Please inform Mr. Pat he can't have any more tap waters after you knock. <clears throat> I'm so glad you came back. I've just been guzzling tap waters and stress eating these funny crackers the way they gave me. Even though I'm not going to wear them, I went and got all my shoes out anyways, I think just for the company. 
scary being alone in here. And now the event is about to begin, but maybe since you're here, nothing bad will happen. This counts as something bad happening. Does it? D do you have a flashlight? I'm scared of the dark. And a flashlight, but slightly less so. <clears throat> Uh, well, I mean, I want the rummage. I don't have a flashlight, man. I can't even change the options. Oh. Hey, you found one. Do I look like that one video by Alligator Queen? Hopefully this we can make it... Hopefully with this we can make it through the corridors of the hotel to the ballroom where the event is safely. I didn't read that right. Just walk real, really close to me, okay? We have no way of telling who or what is out in those twisty halls. Embark in the dark, navigator. Power's out. Click and hold the guide path through the dark hotel. Okay. <laughs> This is silly. You don't get to see us at all. Ah, a reminder of the inevitable passage of time that will one day consume us all into the infinite. Also, I can't read analog clocks. I'm going up. <laughs> oh, that's just that guy. Whoa, that guy again? I wonder what that pink stuff is. Probably nothing corrosive with a hefty half-life. Do you know what a half-life is? You can like walk into the wall. Ring. Oh boy. <laughs> I think we might have walked in on something sensitive. You're cheating on your man. <laughs> Scandalous. Aw, oh, come on. <laughs> ah, self examination. Uh, now I want to find more things. It's very distracting. The front entrance. Okay, we're back here again. I don't think we went this way. Unless this was the start. Okay, this was the start. Let's go out the front door, maybe. I don't know where we're going exactly. <laughs> Fucking kazoo. This be an idea for a multiplayer game, though. Please, anything but party. <laughs> I don't know if we met Marty. The suspicious. Uh, it's his drawers. Are we in his room? It's following me! Should've never bought that dresser from Nana Rue. Deal was just as scary as its obvious possession. Uh oh. 
we can like spy through here. Sort of. This won't let me go through that way, so maybe I have to walk around. Down here, who down here? Let me find you. When did you see it move? I think I saw it move. No, kid. Let's go. <laughs> Fucking face. This is something unwholesome about reading graphic novels. In the pitch dark sediment of a broken hotel wall. Yeah, what the hell was that about? Wait, graphic novels. I didn't see what book he was reading, you know. I have to watch my video over for that one. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, Mandy. Girl, I'd ask what he, he's no guy what he's doing here, but he's attracted to spotlights like a moth that smells like hair gel. I want to meet Mandy and see him now. I don't know if the game's close to ending due to the event. Well, I mean, this was the expected result, right? Are we playing? Oh, we're playing. I think only the people that I talk to are here. There's not, like, additional people here. Which means I failed to complete the video game. Happy birthday, Pat. Okay. Kaboom cake. Okay, so she doesn't say anything else. Angel face. A goo. This is the worst party I've ever been to. It is simply dreadful. Even worse than last year's. Even worse than the rap party for the Gucci modeling shoot I did. That's Gucci adult-sized baby bonnets for strange alligators. Even worse than the release party where they found my ex-boyfriend, the house music DJ, run through with a claymore. I for sure wasn't anywhere near there, of course, but how awful. Simply dreadful. These guys. Alright, they're singing. Smell like an alligator, and that is unsuspicious and correct. <laughs> okay. Mercy, it's been a dog's age since I've been to a swinging shindig. You know of any? Ha <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mostly. On my way over, I passed that abandoned Miss Hoople Dooms home for spooky 1800s children with coughs. And when you know it, my phone stopped working again. All it does now is sing Ring Around a Rosie in a slow, haunting manner and try to order a stick and hoop with my credit card. Get a new phone, man. Hello, Star Child. May I interest you in a flyer for my upcoming crystal yoga class? We're going to stand on our heads and really give it to some courts. It's also going to be free pizza in the dumpster outside of town in Tony's cheese circles. Like Bellissimo or whatever. Hey, thanks for earlier. I ended up canceling that date, but not because I was nervous anymore. I was actually kind of wondering if, uh, no. 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 
denied. No presh. No presh. Joni's over here not talking to anybody. Hey there, I got worried you guys wouldn't make it on account of the blackout. Pat's scared in the dark, in the hallways, and parties, come to think of it. It usually doesn't end as well as this, is what I'm saying. Man, I wanted to get all the alligators. How the hell do you have enough time to get all of the alligators? I'm gonna lose my AARP discounts being up this late. Take a hard look at your benefits. If you do too much staying up past 8 or rollerblading, I am not giving up my Tuesdays at Roller World. God, I can't remember the last time I've gone rollerblading. I'm so happy. I wasn't getting rubbed out. I was getting birthday clout. It's so nice to have my beloved family here with me. We're going to take a big family photo and everything. That means you too, if that's okay. Everything you did for me today really meant so much to me. You're really a special friend. I can't thank you enough. Oh, come on. Everything's ready for the photo. Except for you. Follow me. No, I wasn't done talking to people. Oh, we got a character creator? Oh my god. Dude, I actually... We actually played the knife game with a knife. We need to be... A gritty crocodile. Dark. That was a goofy ass teeth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. Only three body types? Aw, oh, man. Alright, well, he's the big body type. So deadly serious. With a blue necktie. Why do we always have hats? Okay. <laughs> On the honor of Terry Bogard coming out recently, we should probably have a Terry Bogard hat. I don't know. I don't usually wear hats. I don't want the hat. These options are terrible. <laughs> Uh, sure. Glasses styling. I like that. Alright, back to the head. <laughs> A lot of head options. I <laughs> can't get over the anime eyes. <laughs> what else we got? Wait, let me get rid of the glasses so we can just see the eyes. Okay, I think we went through them all, yeah. Alright, why don't we go with... This one actually. And what is it? The teeth. There you go. Real standout looking gent. Congratulations. But it's not a good ending. Ugh. That time limit is pretty strict. Most of my time is wasted on this asshole over here. There's still, like, an entire place in it go to, though. The game has won, the story ends sweet, but though it seems done, has this all been something that's really going on? Does that tale end right here? The more family come upon, the more truth will grow clear. Well, I mean, so far, it seems like you have two family sects, and one of them murdered the rich as fuck father, godfather, and then the rest are divvying up the spoils. That was about the as much as we got. 
what happens if I continue. Oh, is this like a new game? This is like a new game. Oh, so you get to go again. What do the puzzle pieces do? Oh no. <clears throat> Did I come back for you? Oh wait, at what point in time are we? Like, is this another day or...? I'm back already. I do have more family photos. And my dog is barking. Okay. This is Grandma. Purveyor of fine antiquities. This is a granddaughter. Ah, it's his sibling. Angel face. 14 months old. This guy... Should be one of these two, yeah. Dead. <laughs> Age dead. Occupation dreading. Are you wearing a wire? They have a third kid. There's a lot we're missing. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 alligators. So how does the rest of this game progress now? Oh, I'm gonna deny his game because we already got Slick Mick. Pass, Mick. Alright then, let's... Did I not get that before? Was that 33? Okay, I guess I missed those. Bodega. So yeah, you might hear my dog for a while. We have the fun district. But we also have that text message from the guy that says if I talk to the trolley... I don't know how to talk to the trolley guy to get to the underground? Go check out the fun... I can't click it. Well, let me... Oh, we start in the fun district? Maybe we start in the fun district. Oh. There's this person. Eat merchants. <laughs> uh, there's a puzzle piece. Any more puzzle piece? Uh, please don't click and drag on the grass. <laughs> Okay, let's, uh, how angry this guy is. Puzzle piece, got a dude in the background there. Alright, let's start right to left, so let's go. Jewels. <laughs> what the hat that says hat. Welcome to Eat Emergency, where your hunger is sated with urgency. Today's specials are 12 cc's of sliders, which comes with chips or saline. You can add a side salad if you meet your deductible. You're having a real Eat Emergency? Close the game and go to your local urgent care or greasy hot dog joint. If you're looking for dessert? That's more Sweet Emergency's deal up on 4th Street, dog. 
you'll excuse me, I'm having my own wheat emergency, as in I'm gluten intolerant and stress ate a bunch of burger buns in a break room breakdown. You know how it is working in the food service industry. System is broken, dog. It is indeed, man. Little Giovanni. Uh, I'm not doing anything. I mean, well, that's not exactly true. I'm standing here. I'm existing somewhat. My snoot is running from ragweed allergies. Not doing anything that has to do with the soda machine, though. Nope, nothing at all. <laughs> the opens notebook. Would you like to tell me what you're doing with the soda machine? Dr. Soda, Bug Cream, Cold Cola, the Fruit One, something. I don't know. Sick Lemon and Dentist's Era. <laughs> Giovanni. Just a totally cool gator teen who hangs out at the park by himself with the soda. Alright, that's fine. Pat? You mean my cousin Pat? Another cousin, huh? Yeah, he's great. We used to play a lot more when I was a little kid, but I still think he's pretty cool. Sometimes he'll meet me at the mall food court after school and we get nachos. Lactose intolerance, so my dad doesn't let me have that stuff usually because it makes me blow chunks, but Pat doesn't mind holding my hoodie back while I spew. Total bro. Running out of drink. Ugh, how much water do I have? Very little. I'm gonna have to take a break in a moment, get some, get some drink. Oh, the what? Event? Okay, okay, you got me. I'll spill my guts. When I said I wasn't doing anything earlier, it was sort of maybe definitely a lie. You see that soda machine right there? Truth is, I'm a bit of a cola connoisseur, and this fountain in particular is a beaut. All the best, most classic flavors. So they so rarely stopped making them in the 90s. Yeah? Like time stopped here, letting me pickle my pubescent organs in carbonated bliss. This is very spot and makes the soda combo so great that the last of my baby teeth disintegrated with a slide whistle noise. Sadly, no matter how I try, I can't seem to get that flavor right again, so I was kind of hoping you'd help me rediscover it. Maybe if we figure it out, I can help you with something. Hook on tonics. <clears throat> Try to follow his soda instructions. Move the cup to the right to see the recipes and up to the fountains to add a flavor. When you're ready, click on Giovanni. You have my recipe card. Those are the sodas I've already invented. But how can I make something totally new and different? I don't know, it feels like a lot of pressure. I guess. So. If I taste the dentist's ear, I can't remember what it's like. Cool guy juice, cold cola plus fruit. Dentist plus lemon. Face melter. Dr. Giggler. Dr. Soda plus fighter. Yeah, that's right. I remember dentist era now. I hate this soda. It tastes like chemicals. I wash that taste out of my mouth. Give me that. Give me the cold cola. You realize I'm using the same cup. Uh, it just looks like I got ice. Ah oh, yes, the sweet sugary rush of cold cola. Cold cola is the best, most delicious, most addictive soda of all time. It is my very favorite. Maybe I can take inspiration from one of my old recipes. Can you look at my recipe card and make me a cool guy juice? It's your cool guy juice. 
Inspiring flavor. Yes, this is masterful. Your genius, past Giovanni. These cool guy juices a base. How do I make cool guy juice even better? That's the question. Oh no, I'm cracking under the pressure of my own success. Let's try mixing cool guy juice and face melter together. Maybe does that sound good? Face melter, dentist, and lemon. So you want cool guy juice. And then this. Is that all I do? Ugh, it's okay, but I expected it to be better. Take this and let me think. Wrong oh, with the soda mix. I'm just bad at mixing sodas. I guess it could be a weird flavor though. Does face melter have a bad flavor in it? The one from earlier? Combine two recipes again and this time take out the flavor I didn't like. That's perfect, you totally nailed it. And you're on, I'm going to name this drink Problematic Flab. Alright, well, that was easy. The next. Wow, your soda mixing skills are truly a force to be reckoned with. I got a family member badge. I knew when I saw you, there was a sticky, the pimpled teen inside you. Waiting to be lured out to make the perfect sugary concoction. I'm preparing an extra special beverage for Pat. It's gonna be killer. Killer awesome, I mean. Ha ha ha, not like it will kill him. He does get startled pretty easily, though. Some of the moves tend to make him dive action movie style out plate glass windows. It's pretty cool. Thanks again for your help, Flavor Master. See you tonight. Another one. Man, I should have came here first. He's so depressed looking still. Alright, Mandy. Put a coin to my hat. The song I play is sweet. And if you don't agree with that, I do not give receipts. Apparently I can take a coin out of your hat. The breeze she sighs, the fountain coos, my mandolin does holler. So it's no surprise or clever ruse that I expect a dollar. Cease your sit so close to me, though you enjoy my arts, for if you do not start to flee, I'll punch you in soft parts. The <laughs> this guy. Twang. I was having an eat emergency, but I got pulled in by Mandolin Mandy's siren song as usual. I was listening to him play. And when he tells me to stop sitting so close and rhyming couplets. Heh, <laughs> what a guy. You know, I love just coming to the park, hearing the birds, the music, feel my own hot mouth mist reflected back at me as I stand too close. What the fuck? What's wrong with these alligators? <laughs> Not on purpose. You try having your eyes positioned this way and get back to me about depth perception. Weez. They're all allergic and stuff. And they've got major issues. It's two-ton Tony, man. Hey, you kiddo. How you doing today? Me any day above the ground, right? Ha 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 ha, yup. Just a little mortality joke for you, since I can only relate to my subconscious fears through deflection. Don't worry, brother. Hi, deflection, I'm dead! Ha <laughs> ha I don't even know what that, that I'm doing it. Some days, though, are better than others, and today's one of the better days. This big guy right here. Sweet piece of metal is the Grill Maestro 300X, the undisputed king of the finest grilling technology alligator has ever known. Yep, can't wait to fire this baby up and do some proper firing. 
now all I gotta do is figure out how to start it. And cook with it. And hopefully stop it before the rising flames consume us all. Don't, I, I mean, I suppose I can uh, teach you how to do that. Students call me a Mr. Mom Jeans behind my back, but you can call me Tony. Tell you the truth though, you can call me whatever you want so long as you don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> Not to punish my internal organs with intense meats and radioactive food colorings for several decades. My best years are behind me. Uh, of course I know Pat, that's one of my boys. Smaller one of them that wears a hat. He's a good kid, but a little skittish. Bit of a hair trigger on him. You the father? Is he actually your boy or is he your boy, you know, like your homie? Between you and me, I think that bun could use a little more time in the oven. Yeah, a lot of you guys seem to think that Pat's Pat's got the worst end of the stick. Convey affection through heartless critique other than for my father. Hi, my father, I'm dead. The event, huh? Not sure how much I can tell you about that, unless you're talking about my wife stopping her yammering. Now there's an event I'd like to see. <laughs> well, actually, I love her very much and deeply appreciate the mutual respect and affection that's present between us. Sorry. I only know how to communicate in relationships through dated humor that stems from the sexism present in sitcoms. Maybe I should start reading those square things with the paper. Books. Jeez, man. Loaded much? Anywho, you seem like a gator that knows their way around a grill. Let's say, hypothetically, that I need a little help getting this beauty of a machine going. I know my lips get a little looser when I hear that fine sizzle of meat being cooked to dally perfection, so maybe you can lend me a hand, kiddo. Manic Pixie Dream Grill. Save this grill master from different disasters. Problems keep spawning on this grill. Hold the correct tool over a problem for two seconds to fix it. Watch out for special problems and obstacles. What is this? Is this like a fucking torch gun? Kind of like <clears throat> not accurately reading, I suppose. I think we're getting the hang of this. I'm gonna turn up the gas a bit. Please don't. Oh man, he's on TV. a problem? Oh. I don't see any problems happening. Unless... We're doing great, just a little more I think we'll have this thing at temp. Oh.
I'm so confused by this one. This guy looks like he's hot on the news or something. Okay, I don't know if that game was very well programmed. <laughs> That's like, a what? That's amazing, ain't she a beaut? Ugh, totally not terrifying at all with the sheer amount of things going on or a little man overalls living inside it. Extremely normal. Yeah, can I get his family badge too? Deflection! Thanks for helping me out today, kiddo, about the event. I can't say too much, but I gotta brag about the balloons I got for it. My boy Pat just loves those colorful sacks of air. Probably why he loves his old man here so much too. Alright, my body's aging rapidly! No one can stop the forward cycle of time. This dude's having his midlife crisis now. <laughs> Hey, Pat. Pat, you gotta stop, man. Is it not possible to get everyone in, like, one attempt? Also, I'm not sure if you can talk to this bus driver. Alright, I'm gonna skip this as it's the same dialogue. Like six one five one nine or something. Gotta watch Pat's little waddle. I don't have that website up anymore. Oh, I just skipped what the website is. Hold on. Wasn't it? Was it five one six one nine? Okay. <laughs> Shit. Uh, what was your damn code, man? Alligator dot fun. Nine one six one nine. I knew it was one six one nine. What if I type the code in backwards? It's getting on my feet, just enter anything. Uh, can I not fail this? We talked to Tim. They became bros. I'm sure his room will be okay, man. Did this two times already. I mixed up the nine and the six. We can't fail Pat's game. 
And then we have until four. Oh, your girlfriend's coming to pick you up. We're still missing so many people. I think we only got two. Another cousin. And daddy -o. Cousin. Nine more gators to talk to and a bunch more puzzle pieces to find. For best ending. Well, let's go back to the fun district. This is the fun district, right? Memorial Park we want. Still trying to talk to uh, people on the bus. I don't think I can. Maybe I need that text prompt late at night. There, we did him, we did him, we didn't do you. Hey, don't look at me. Stop, stop looking! Cut it out! Please stop! I have a wife and kids. Please, I have a wife and cats. I have three cats. Okay, okay, it's five cats and a body pillow for crude drawing of a person done in a sharpie. Please don't tell my parents how I live. Rude. Rude. Alright, Teresa. Okay, everyone's got their problem. Skids Valentina. We got a Valentino kid. Hi, one of them. Here's something neat. Hi. Did you know, um, did you know this gazebo here and haunted by, um, like a hundred million ghosts? Uh-huh, uh-huh, it's true. My cousin Giovanni told me so. That's why I'm playing over here. You know, just in case I can meet one, um, so we can be friends. Nice to have a ghost pal instead of being ghosted by pals. Boy, that was... I'm skids, but my mom usually calls me the other one. Or, who left this here? Sometimes Bonnie Milligan calls me squids at recess. My teacher says it's just because she likes me. I think it's because I sometimes smell a little fishy since my bedroom is a spare utility freezer on the back porch. There's a lot of fish in the freezer. I think Pat's my cousin, like the cousin that comes after cousin, like the sequel to cousin, second cousin. I like Pat. She has meatballs with me and always plays fun games. Like this one time we both ran in circles to see who could do it the most. Pat one and only threw up a little. He's so cool. I'm so so serious. Pat's like good with the kids, but he's completely pissed afraid of everything. I'm not supposed to talk about it because it's a surprise. I might talk about it a little if you'll play games with me though. Wanna play hide and seek? I've been practicing. Let the kid win or you see him again. <laughs> <laughs> hide and sheesh. Kid thinks he's hot stuff at hide and seek. Wait for him to hide and help him win. I wanna hide now. Ready or not, I'm hidden. Aw, oh, shucks. Next time I have to hide in a better, more secrety place. Wait, I didn't think the ladder was going. Haha, <laughs> 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 I hid so good. You looked everywhere except for where I was. <laughs> I mean, it's thematic for the kid, but... 
<laughs> you just click five times. How'd you make that? You over here, kiddo? No? Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Got wrecked. Except for that first round, I totally found you. Maybe tonight the event we can play together again, oh jeez. How am I related here? You finally told me there might be a big cake. I haven't had cake since the last time. I wonder if I find everybody, if my character gathers his whole family around, we're just gonna go on a murder spree. And then this game becomes extremely dark. There's no way it'll stay cutesy the entire time, right? We've already seen the hint of it. <laughs> anyway, thanks again. Come play with me anytime. Alright, we got three more. Tin Lizzie. Um, hello? Do you mind stepping approximately three to seven steps to the right? Blocking the sun? Luminous scales highlighter I applied is not living up to its customer review section. I've been out here all day with my new phone trying to get the perfect shot, but I just can't seem to look effortless enough. This one here, I totally have an expression, which is a super no-no in selfie town. I need to look just the right amount disaffected. Just the right amount of lip gloss. This gloss won't pay for itself after all. You know, cause I pay for it. Me, like I buy it. I don't want to know who she is. I'm just gonna walk away. I'm Lizzie, but I've been trying to get everyone to start calling me Elizabethary. Sadly, much like my attempts to be an influencer, <laughs> influencer. Doesn't seem to be happening. Speaking of, I'm promoting Fizzy Fruit La Croc this week on my social medias. Would you like to try some? It's soda water that a fruit farmer thought about in passing, giving it just enough fruity essence to confuse the palate. Fizzy Fruit La Croc, a consideration of strawberry. I'll pass. Pat? You mean Joni's cousin, Pat? Oh my god, Pat is hilarious. Last year when I spent the holidays with Joni's family, Pat got so punked on eggnog. He thought the Christmas tree was a hired assassin and ran face first into a Santa themed nutcracker to display his escape. It took us two hours to get all the walnut shells out of his ears and to get him to stop wearing the beard as a disguise. He's kind of a paranoid guy. Totally nice though. Love the banana. Bandana. Well, I know you hear spying for Pat. Spying? Spying? I wouldn't use the word spying. He's not supposed to know anything about this, you feel me? I didn't even post about it on Snoot Book, or Picture, Graham, or my live journal, or my dead journal. I didn't even write it down in my bullet journal just to be extra safe. Plus, then I save on bullets. Well, maybe if I could help you out. Help out, you could give me a little info. You know, a little, you stand my account and I stand yours. I don't know what that means, Lizzie. See, even though I'm totally super tech savvy, super popular pictogram user with over seven followers, I am more popular than you. <laughs> they aren't blood related to me. I still am having some trouble with my new phone. Tried to import my photos and they got all dinked up. I can't post dinked photos. What will my followers do if they are denied the knowledge of their parasocial BFF? <sighs> Lizzie's most recent vegan cafe exploits. Why you gotta add that in? Riot, that's what. Hashtag give peas a chance. So will you help me fix my pics? Unmix the pics. Assemble the pics to get her clicks. This rhymes with another word that we're not gonna say because it's a PG game. Photos are divided into sections. Click each section and stop it in place. 
Okay. Swarovski studded holster. I know what we're doing. Hey, this isn't right at all. I can try a little harder. Why did it like go over? Alright. Uh, she's dating him. Uh... I, I know it's moving super slow. I just want to really make sure. Oh my god, this was last Halloween. We won best couples costume. I'm allergic to peanuts, but don't worry, it wasn't real peanut butter. I brought my EpiPen though, you know, just in case. Alright, I'm just gonna get all the fitters with the guy. Beach date, the old Penny B, LMAO. I'm screaming literally. Uh, oh my god. Okay, I see a concert, and I guess I'm going for not the concert. <laughs> I was going for the concert. Oh, she's. He's uh, hanging out with the, the hippie dude. I wanted the concert. There you go. Why does it do that? That's really annoying. It's all dinked up. This is gonna cost me time. is kind of a bummer. I like screaming my feelings as much as next 20-something, but it's aspirating the lead singer sweet from the fifth row is a lot. Oh, aspirating the lead singer sweat from the fifth row. Ugh. It's close. Game was a little wonky, man. Aw, oh, jeez. There's eight more to get. It's like when I take candids of my significant gator, they're cute and perfect. When Joni takes them of me, they're like this. Hashtag relatable relationship. Oh yeah, about the event. Well, like, don't tell Pat, but I totally did the playlist for it. He's gonna be super surprised, but like, not a surprise at the time you opened the closet and the coat fell on him, causing him to projectile vomit, several liters of cranberry sauce. Pat throws up quite a lot, doesn't he? Content winnings, bodily fluids, Thanksgiving. Thanks again for all your help, stranger. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm gonna stay away from you. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Cool boy. Cloud looks like a duck. Now that cloud looks like two ducks. That cloud looks like my ex-girlfriend, who was a duck. Oh, Sheila. Sheila. Okay. 
All right, before I continue, I need to take a little break just because I'm thirsty. I ran out of all my drinks here. I had Gatorade and water, and um, I, I gotta get some more stuff. So let's take a 10. Probably won't be 10 minutes. I'm gonna get some food to eat too. And then we'll finish finding these family members. And 100% this, because why not? Or I guess 100% it.
Okay, I'm back. I eat some cereal. Now, hopefully, we can finish up in a nice little final push before I completely destroy my voice. <laughs> I think we've got Flex and Gator. Gentle Lorenzo. Broline. 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 I'm begging you, dude. Please give me a hand. 901. And two. And three. Whew, well, that's the highest number I know, so I guess that's enough, huh? Really? You can count up to 943, but you don't know what comes next. Oh, sorry, Brosephine. I didn't see you there, Shroud and Total Shadow. By the monolith of my beefy bod! You're not going to start hitting me with a boom like the last one, are you? Ugh, don't worry, it happens to me all the time. I'm worried. <clears throat> me? People call me Lorenzo on account of it being my name. I work downtown at the Brodiga Fitness Center and Mini Mart, being inspirational, aspirational, and non-recreational. I'm very serious about my job, Roseanne. Pat, bro, that's life for real big bro. Well, not big big, he's kind of mild, medium-sized bro. As far as, as far as alligator brothers go. He's like the mid-sized sedan of brothers. Me, well, I'm like the sport utility vehicle of brothers. Assertively large, but a little empty feeling inside. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, so many of these gators got, got gator problems, man. The event? You mean tonight? Tell you the truth, Brulette. I was sworn to secrecy. On my honor. Over a bottle of wee whey protein? Whey? Wee? Whey? Why? <laughs> Wheat? Whey? Whey protein and a stack of those muscle magazines I keep hidden under my bed. <clears throat> my strong jaw is strongly closed. Until you play this mini game with me. Though, despite my problem-free GMO-free lifestyle, I'm having a muscle tissue issue I could use some help with. You see, my visceral hugeness and perfect health has been causing a totally terrible rift in the most important relationship in my life. That's right, I'm talking about my bird who is my best bro in the br entire bro galaxy. Galaxy. Best bros forever, man! See Tiny Terrence here? He just can't seem to bulk up. <clears throat> Maybe on account of his name, <laughs> but also because of his love of watching television and complaining on the internet instead of complaining at the gym like me. Tried to help little Terry here beef up so he can roll with my impossibly huge crew, but he just hasn't reached his full bird potential. Can't stand to force my favorite broski to literally figuratively live in my enormous shadow another day. <laughs> so what do you say, Brosamina? Can you do me a solid and make him more solid? Like right now? Fortify your bot to get with the squad, Flappy Bro. Is it actually gonna be Flappy Bird? <laughs> <laughs> I bro, you can do this, flex those wings, we gotta swallow this meter. Oh, okay. So avoid everything that's not food. Do you hear the bird? Swollness. Is that protein powder? I think I'm gonna <laughs> clock on the head, man. I'm gonna get him killed. Oh god. 
keep it going, Terrence is into it. Uh, say, as a person who's on the internet all day, oh, just like Terrence supposedly is. He wouldn't get into this. Working out is like, the most boring thing. Unless you got your good jams playing. Okay, well, you're too swole now, Terrence. You are a fat fuck. Jesus, it's really bulking. My true strength is my emotional maturity! It's just an expression of my larger commitment to self care. See, because he's flexing in front of the screen. Everything is like down here. I mean, eventually you will win, right? Stay in the middle. Oh, that sucks. Dude. Not my fault. Fine. I need to kill some time anyway. I think we're gonna need to kill some time to do the final thing. This game is probably one of the more challenging ones. Cause you couldn't see with his fucking flex arms in this game. I guess they had to add some difficulty. Can I just touch the bottom, by the way? I need to find out. I guess there's nothing wrong with doing that. So unfair. <laughs> well, even if you can see stuff, the flappy bird doesn't have. Like, even if I knew that tire was coming, it wouldn't be able to tell him to flap. Not tire, though, barbell, iron. I wouldn't have gotten him out of the way in time. Oh. Didn't make it. We didn't make it. Come on, Terrence. Terrence, gotta flap them flappers. <laughs> Let's go, Terrence. Getting swole. Gotta max that swoleness. There's a way to drop faster. Oh, come on. Stay on the top because you can kind of see what's coming on the top. Why must you flex in my face, man? Alright, I'm choking. That's bullshit. Fuck. <laughs> it's almost there. 
I don't wish to pass, man. I didn't mean to skip his dialogue. Let's go. Dude. Flappy bird. It's amazing what putting an obstruction in the way he does for difficulty. Things that are really close together. <clears throat> all right, man. All right, man. I'm going doing his thing. Get these uh, proteins. Is there a pattern to the obstacles? Is it like low, medium, high? If there was a pattern to it, that would make sense. <clears throat> Terry, bro, I'm so proud of you. Only wasted a ton of time on that. Oh, jeez. Flex my eye sockets as hard as I can and keep the tears from flowing, but it's only barely working. <clears throat> I guess maybe what really needs to bulk up is my ability to deal with positive emotions. And also my calves, so I stop falling over from my ballast like core. About the event tonight, well, it doesn't have a way in, I can tell you that. Don't worry though, I'm bringing my own scale and have only been eating protein bars and dehydrated iceberg lettuce and prep. Gotta look my best for my little bro. Thanks again for helping out me and Terry here, bro Livia. Every time we're popping a particularly gnarly squat, we'll make sure to think of you. Only if it's particularly gnarly. Okay, so I do have to kill time now, right? No, oh, I need to look at what else we have. Oh, look who it is. Lucky Lucky, who it is. We have third, 10 puzzle pieces that I'm missing and a bunch of gators. There's like a whole extra area that you can go, but it's torn out. Walk, 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 I don't want to do your game again. Pass. I need a game I can lose really quickly. Oh yeah, we can do a cell phone again. And listen to the dance music. All right, I want to see other things in this phone. Oh wait, did I hit pass? I meant to partake. Internet spelunker. Don't look too hard at your search history. Allygoogle.com. Recent searches. I can't move anything here. 
Breakfast near and breakfast many pancakes. Sleep sounds. What's the best password.com? Ow. That's how you're supposed to find out about the password? Uh, what's it like out? I like the forecast when it's just like this. Pretty good. It's pretty good out. Today, next day is 81. Day after, 80 fun. After that, 80 none. Alright. When's the train? Soon. This is the third train schedule after Tribe, but I'm still late all the time. It's because it doesn't make any fucking sense. Video time. I get really stressed I watch seizing videos, it calms me. So I watch them when my phone started acting weird, you think it's related? <laughs> oh my god, alligator sensei meridian response ASMR. Hi wow, well, thanks for watching my channel. Sorry I didn't upload last week. I just really and I want to read more. Alright. So that was everything we missed, I guess. Let's enter ghost mode. And then just see if this does anything different. No? Okay. Wait, the notes. What's it like out in ghost mode? I guess we were just supposed to do the picture thing. Allie Google. Alright. Screenshots. This code does something cool. I don't have a phone. So I can't see what this is. Uh, is there like an online website that scans AR codes for you? Is that a thing? AR code scanner website. QR code scanner. Opening camera. Uh, can I just upload you a picture? I guess it's not important. Can. And I want to open a camera that I do not have. That's okay. So I don't know what this is. You guys feel free to enjoy this and let me know. There's a ghost mode variation of it. <clears throat> Alright, so we need to uh, get the ghosts. Yeah, we didn't look at the rest of his anime pictures. <laughs> Alright, the ghost is in the same one, it seems like. Yeah. There's a vacation photo. No, I didn't see anything on what you're talking about. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, so we saw that already. We already did this. We just need to kill time for the most part. Alright, what we got? It's 2.30. Let me get out of the bar. 
I think we got everything down here. Let me talk to these guys. Let me talk to them. These guys weren't important. We did his thing. I don't want to play Mario Paint again. Let's go downtown. Yo, can I click on you and get the thing for you? The loading screen, I think, passes time. Yeah, it does pass time. I wasn't done in the antique shop, actually, last time. Is the baby thing? Is this? I guess there was nothing else back here. That is that. I'll look for a magnifying glasses everywhere. But the only other thing I can think of is there's a whole other area we haven't seen, but I need that text message. I don't want to do this one again either. <laughs> Nail pants. Actually, maybe that one would have a puzzle piece. Pancake stacking. Oh, there's a puzzle piece. There's nine more. Somewhere. I wonder if the restaurant has more. <clears throat> I didn't click on you. Nah. Let me leave since she's down there. Yeah, nine more puzzle pieces. Nothing in here. Let's speak with you. And the quartet. The quartet thing is pretty easy. I could use them in past time, I guess. Hello. Hello. How can I go to that extra area? I don't want to do his again. <laughs> this is the puzzle. Sliding puzzle stuff. Uh... Yeah, you get this message box for the walker, but you can't talk to them. Go back to the fun district. I think I just need to wait until time passes. Mostly is probably something I miss. We're missing a ton. There's the Bodega. We're missing like eight gators. As well. Eight puzzle pieces and eight alligators. Give or take. Uh. <clears throat> Should put me no one knows. Yeah, I want to see your girlfriend. Da! 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 Right. Maybe there is not anything else in here. Not that I'm seeing. 
Oh yeah, the arcade again. Could play pinball. This guy talks about the train movie. Crane game girl. I don't know if she would have another thing here. I got the puzzle piece in this, but we can take a look. It'll pass time. I don't know if getting any of the keys matters. Probably not. Oh, her profile. We never won her game. Right, I don't have her profile. Oh, hey, Mon anime is a bazillion years old and only weird grown ups remember it. Oh, I got the reference. I mentioned that at the beginning. A particularly good crystal. Shattered mirror in the hyperspace. Wow, why would you say that? That is like a gator guy here. I would go for all her comments, but we'll just try to finish this because I don't even know if I'm gonna get get it this time. The screwed. This might take the rest of my time. Was there any other game I didn't finish? Oh, I think I finished them all. Oh, come on, game. <clears throat> I already have 10 copies of this, including the holographic variant cover. Alright, well, she's out of money. <laughs> Except we can retry. First she wants me to just get whatever. Why don't we get... What haven't we heard about yet? I think the bug was a bug. This is the sound of the ocean. We did the key. Just comment on that. This thing we haven't done. And we got the key. You want the crystal again? Can we get the crystal this time? Is there any other trick to this game, or is it just RNG? Grab the crystal. I don't even know what it is. No, it's in the corner. Last time it was in the corner, I couldn't get Cloud in. <laughs> needs to be adjusted. This mini game, I mean. We didn't even come close that time. Alright, I'm gonna rob you, girl, of all your quarters. Gonna bring a bunch. Pat with his shoe quest. I need to kill a little more time after this for the other text. But yeah, we didn't talk to this dude. Good evening to you, fellow traveler. Have you come to imbibe some ales after your long journey as well? Garcon fetches your finest novelty wine based on a popular sci fi television show. Nice suit. I like dabbling in a little bit of cosplay myself. 
Watch this list year at Alligator Comic Con, I dress as a character of my own creation. Darylus, great wizard of the north. My brother Mickey, help, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> help me put it together. Or you did get a bit slimy. Who are you? I'm Derry. Nervous Derry. Known as the terror of the east side, the most magic the happening card game circles. <laughs> Magic's the happening. On campus, I'm known as Terror the AP Biolab, or the one with that haircut. Oh jeez, got the puzzle piece. And Pat is my second cousin, as well as my second favorite person to play Dungeons and Dragons with. Well, that's not a made-up name. First being my internet friend, Carl, whose dad got rich bite. Rich bite coin mining. Pat's a bard, so, you know, pretty party useless. You shut the fuck up right now. Great singing voice, though. He can really wail on that juice heart. You know about the event? Yeah, it's a party. What, am I not supposed to say that? <laughs> the most straightforward one. Oh, jeez. Huh, you leaving already? Well, safe travels, my fellow traverser, the mortal plane. Perhaps we will meet again in another realm, or on an internet forum for role-playing. I didn't get his character card. Salutations and good morrow. Look how this guy is just over there. Like, he's such a. I think Bub's the best alligator. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess I glitched the game out by rapidly clicking. It is the other thing. This part of the game. I didn't find anything to click on. But they let you drag through this hallway as though maybe there is something to click on? They have this obvious comment here. A little backstory. Got Bub looking at you with his damn blank stare. see the cursor changing at all. Have a Johnny of a day and I leave. And I seem pretty restricted here. <sighs> all right. Is there anything I can click on in your room before you make me? Play your game. Alright, let's go get his shoes. I'm curious if they're in the same spots. Those two were. Where was the other one at? Which one's ever failed? Okay, there's this one and the one below it. We got a pair. That ghost. These two. 
More ghosts. More ghosts. Black hole. Gross stuff. More gross stuff. That's new. Empty. 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 the shoe <laughs> bad at this game as you can tell okay first try they're always like on the left here it seems Check that one already. <laughs> Man, that candle really upped his anxiety. We did that. And then we're free. That guy's gone. This guy just says welcome. This person tends to ignore us too. Uh Let's go back to the arcade. We gotta wait for the text message, I th think. Alright, Geraldine. I need you to pick something that's reasonable to obtain. Okay. There's gotta be a way <laughs> to more guarantee get what you want. the way I imagined it. She wants everything that's on the damn... How did I beat the round two of this last time? Get the duck! <laughs> she wants the ducky! Quack quack man. Ryu Katsukoto would have gotten the ducky. First try. Alright, there you go. One more round. Okay, and she wants cloud. Oh man, these carry over? Try limit. I can't get. Come on, Cloud. What the fuck? <sighs> Her game is so hard to play. <laughs> so she always wants Cloud last, but Cloud doesn't even appear here at first. What is like the first thing that we want to do? I don't think it matters what you grab first. Yeah, it completely changes. Gators E, give me that boy band CD. You said you already have 10 of those, though. Oh, thank god I get 5 attempts for fucking Cloud. 
Where is Cloud? Okay, he's over here. It's not ideal, I would say. Hey, we finally beat the game. OMGs! I can't believe you got the dreamiest anime Game Boy from Final Friend City, Cloud Sh Claude Strike. Claude, his hair is almost as prickly as the social interactions of women. Oh, you. This is exactly what I wanted. Thank you so much for helping me. Alright, she was the one game we never beat. Because I just left here. You're the clean getaway. You deeply offend the trade. <laughs> oh, jeez, TC. <laughs> Tell you what, you need to know. The event is a secret. I'm a gator, not a rat. That's right, classic double cross. That's the calling card of Sweet Geraldine Master, Master Criminal. Geraldine, you are a hustler. Good hustling. Okay, I think we're done here. All I need is that texty text to say, hey, talk to the trolley driver or something. So, in the meantime, why don't we do this? You know, she's the only one you come back to in the second playthrough and you don't have to go to your conversation box again. She's the only one who knows we're time traveling. This is, uh, no, it's bro. Dude bro. Dude bro is the bro. Yeah. Gentle Lorenzo. Team captain of Trivia Night at the Brodiga. This girl didn't make it clear who she was. <clears throat> Skids Valentinez, Valentino. What is your name? I can't look at the name. Oh, I guess Sweet Geraldine is a tween. Mod on age appropriate anime forum. Yeah, that's her occupation. Uh huh. Well, she likes anime. This guy is a cousin? Said he was a cousin, so he should be here. Yeah. Conspiracy theorist YouTuber. This girl's an outside party, I think. She said she liked him. There you go. Influencer. Uh huh. I'm missing four gators. Four. Missing grandpa. We're missing. Great grandparent? I just realized this to your brother and sister. I'm missing whoever goes in the center. And some outsider. Who else is there to even talk to? This guy didn't lead to anything. Yeah. Alright, what should I try? Can I go see Mayor Wibbleyfin? Fun fact. I want my free hot dog. What is downtown again? Oh yeah, downtown is where the quartet is. Stuff. Yo, Gooey Gator. I think I'm just gonna travel and kill time until I get the text message. He said try talking to people on the bus, but you don't really can't. 
can't do that. This might take a minute. Interesting alligators on the bus. Yo, I use that hairstyle for us. You know what I could do? I've been taking a second glance at the uh, girls' club yet. think there was anything else in here oh you know what yeah she has this to say and then the second time we came in there was something different maybe I can get like a third dialogue box or something I'm supposed to leave and come back cuz none of these people gave me a thing Oh, thanks. Spoke with all of them. All of them were irrelevant. And we have more fun facts. Powerful females in history. She did give me a puzzle piece, I think. Okay, it doesn't seem like anything else is there. Yeah, I don't know. Go back and If this is just like random what it chooses or if I should keep doing it. I also don't think this advances time. I don't think it does. Jin Xiong Wu. I butchered that name. Oh yeah, you do enough. Story. Alright, let me keep doing this. This is my. I wouldn't say it's a lead, but it's all I got. <laughs> There's one other thing I needed to do, I guess. Go back to the guitar person because I didn't really get much info from them. Not sure if that'll merit anything worthwhile. I could try going to the park at night. I don't know if that'll change anything. Is the text? I didn't get the text this time from the other guy. There must have been something else I was doing. Right, and we talked to this dude. They won't let me go elsewhere. again. Alright, I, I guess we can go through this again. I like how the power goes out of all things.
So something, some other dialogue proc the conversation on the cell phone to meet up with the guy, but I don't know how to do that exactly. <clears throat> As for the rest of this, I guess I probably just need to memorize the path. Could be some other things here that I didn't do before. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh right, that was his girlfriend. That's who he's been looking for. He did reveal that info. Oh, the end exit was over here. a change. Like <clears> how <throat> we're just headless there. Damn kazoo man. The kazoo! Alright, wait. Let's go into the circles. I don't think it's changed, I just forget where to go. Thought it was all the way on the bottom right. Yeah, I'm back at the start. I don't know, maybe it does change. Where's the upper path? Well, this should be the upper path. Maybe it's a passage that just doesn't open until you find certain things. Who else am I missing here? Oh, it's down here. It wasn't this way, I'm just wondering if there was anything else down here. Oh hey, yeah, uh, that guy. He knows Marty, I don't think we have Marty's thing. <clears throat> Marty is inside the grill, maybe I should have talked to the barbecue guy again. To daddy. Gator. Then this is the correct way. Whether or not this. I don't know if this is an intentional thing or supposed to be a secret or what. this way.
Oh yeah, this guy. Okay, he wasn't actually feeding a book. <laughs> That's probably the best one. It's because of his face. We did get these last time. I think I saw it move. Yeah, the the hole in the wall that looks in this direction. What? He's so happy. There's gonna be a lot more gators in here this time. Dad, are you good there, champ? Now go get some cake. What's up, old and moldy? Down for another heist? Sorry to pull you back in the game, but with a cake like this, how can you resist one last score? <clears throat> he looks so bored. Needy glute offshoot. He said, I got new yoga pants and raised a hundred dollars for guys without thighs. It's an important organization, bro, Yoko. And he's got his bird over there, too. You got this person. Should have seen your faces when you came in. I took like a thousand pics. That looked like he thought he was going to die or something. LOL. Cause he did. We got this guy. Oh, he showed up. Wait, I did get this thing. Even go more. Auspicious sign that we've crossed paths once more. Whereas we have some unknown starting connection. Oh, you really want to read my zine about cool lizards? Check it out. I have a whole chapter dedicated to Tapicus. The Groovy. Was she here last time? I don't even think Maria was in here last time. Dad said dentist IRA was getting a little too literal for me, and so I got grounded from soda for a billion years. And I'm only about to have this fizzy fruit lacroix, which is just carbonated water that a lemon sneezed in or something. I already missed the sweet, sweet chemical burn of Dr. Soda pickling my small internal organs. It is crazy. Skids Valentino hiding in a corner. Please don't look for me. She's here. Did I talk to her last time? Man, she just confirmed she murdered him. I might have just not talked to her because I clicked on Pat, and that ends this. Going away from you. Tell anyone about what you saw earlier now, break your kneecaps and enough pieces that the old maids can play Mahjong. A lot of pieces, man. It's like 140 plus tiles. And thanks. Gun. Oh yeah, we talked to him. And we talked to him. Alright, well. I mean, we're missing four gators. Still. So, we can end it. I don't know if I'll finish it, because... I'm pretty good to go. We can change how we look here. <clears throat> like, I think I got what I wanted from the game. I don't know if there's going to be some greater thing to it. I don't know how to trigger the, uh... 
text. This is different. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck, it did get dark. So, dear Pat was right. His life was in danger, though here on this night, not from family, but stranger. <sighs> what do you mean I may yet still save Pat? You can't do that. You can't just throw this in here. I was satisfied, and now I'm not satisfied anymore. We have to figure out how to get the text message from the guy who contacts us. I mostly just don't feel like doing the mini games again though, if that's what I have to do. Alright, so we had to finish the job, we got hired to kill Pat. I knew, you know, something was up when we were playing with the knife, that we were a vastly more hardcore character. I wonder if that mini game triggered anything. Yo, what's up Topaz, by the way? How you doing? Ugh. Missing eight and four. <clears throat> okay. You back again? Came back again? Oh, right. This is. It puts you at the point where you're done and you're ready to go out for the first time. <sighs> Alright. Uh. I may have to do all the things that deal with the murder. I don't know. Whatever I do, I need to make sure... That that's these guys. These guys technically have a really easy game. The Valentinos. Why would we have to kill Pat? I don't know if I need to do these games again. Uh, she wants to bleed. She wants the sports car. She wants the parrot. She wants the crystal orb. She wants the urn. Back. Painting. Oh no, he wants the photo. Final. Line. The hat. This is the hat the other guy is wearing. She wants the hat. She wants the hat, I see. Okay. He seems irrelevant. got this game. I guess I should play the knife game. These guys don't have a game. They just had a conversation with each other. The 
this guy had nothing to say. I don't know if I could like cough up something for him. Person's waiting for the date, that guy's got- I guess I could do his game too. <laughs> It's, it's the same answers. A lot of dialogue to skip to. This one takes a minute. Why is the band-aid icon appearing? That's a glitch. It cracks me up because this is the one really good mini game where it reveals a lot about your character because he just starts playing with the plastic, not the plastic knife, he's got like the metal knife instead of the spoon. I did the wrong thing. Ah, oh, same one twice. This was the most telling game. <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> it's like our guy really wants to play this game. This cutscene is also misleading because then their character. Can I not help him? Can I like walk away? Doesn't seem like it. Because, yeah, we do that. I wonder if in order to get the best ending, I have to like beat every game on the first try so I have enough time. Not sure how this is gonna pan out. You guys haven't seen this one yet, this one is great. <laughs> but we're not... I already read all the text, so we're just going for the answers. Uh, what is it? Botanical Garden. Like, this game is bullshit without trial and error. There's no way to tell what they got here. Nice flowers. I'm gonna go somewhere cool. And I wanna say the scales are so shiny. I 
get this one. <clears throat> All right, yeah, we got a text. Wait, it's ten already? I only did three games. And I didn't fail. Why is it 10 already? Can I just pay attention to detail? We actually have glasses. Uh, when we need to do the picture, I don't know if it's just a custom character creator or if we're also supposed to figure out what we look like. takes a while because we can't skip this cutscene. and get different results. I'm trying to think, was there any other point in time where we were able to see ourselves at all. I don't know if that's a thing. Why do we have to kill Pat? Charlene, lady. Alright, she's got nothing else going on. Right, I know who your girlfriend is now. I don't know if this wastes time. I'm just genuinely curious. We don't have any of the last four. Pat's all the way over here, right? All the murder stuff is that this guy was murdered and these people became rich. I'm noticing something though. They're not second cousins. Like, these two said that Pat is a second cousin and we moved and all that, but these guys are first cousin. No, that's not how that works. They might be second cousin.
How is this all fed into you? Who wants him dead? Suspicious. I need to know who's at the center of this tree. Alright, so currently it is 11 exact. Uh, I can do the downtown games. All I want to do is trigger the unknown guy's text messages. This is really the last thing we need to do is get to that extra area. So this guy's have a game. Yeah, I don't know if I need to play these all too. I just I have no idea how else I'm gonna get the cell phone message. Can't get over the girl's face. I remember the first time doing this didn't make any sense to me. <sighs> Alright, last one. <clears throat> I just realized what I'm going to have to do again. We have to do the sliding puzzle. This sliding puzzle could also be one of the more relevant bits of info. This one, after a while of not getting it, does give you the option to auto solve, I think. This 
it looks like you're not very good at this. So I guess we could just wait for that. And then this one is pretty free. I mean, I did it the first time. <laughs> Take the easy out. I was waiting for that, so that's... I thought I would have to figure that out again, but... Is there anything else with you? Oh yeah, she wanted to play old maid. Last time she never had it on the left. Just because I got it. No, oh, ladies suck. Oh, it costs time, man. It costs time. This one is a chance game. I don't think there is a tell for what the old maid card is. Well, we win this time. 
Lost 15 minutes though. Oh wait, we don't want that. Ah, uh, there you go. I don't know why the train even bothers going around. Must you? Slap your pancakes plate. seen the phone call from that guy yet.
Easy peasy. I don't think there are any other games here. It really took us to 2.30 though. Okay, well, uh, that just leaves technically the other harder games that I can do when I get back. And the National Park games, I didn't do the fly swatter thing either. It wasn't completely optimal. Oh, what's this? Babyface Constance? You say something? You over there eyeing my cards, youngin, but I ain't giving them to ya. But you can talk to a person on the bus. Last time I was giving my cards away, it was long before you were born, and now look at me. I'm old. See what Sharon gets you, aging irreparably. One day your skin is sucked close to your skeleton, then you turn around, and boom! The jowls are hanging down past your collarbones, which are no hollow and now hollow inside. Is that what you want? Hollow collarbones with the nest of daddy long legs inside? Stop staring at my cards. Who are you, lady? It's only the business of me and the nurse that puts the ointment on my neck bees three times a week. Back bees. Okay, stop staring at my cards. You know Pat? Why did Pat tell you to go steals great aunt's cards? Great aunt. Because if he did, I ain't gonna give him his Christmas present this year. Which is, of course, a bag of oranges and a strange tin of popcorn from 1987. Stop staring at my cards! You know about the event? I ain't telling a kid like you nothing. Oh my. Although, you could play me for the information. As long as you don't stare at my cards. What do you say, kid? I think you can beat the old maid. Right, so... What's your name warned us about her earlier? She doesn't like having her cards looked at. She's a wily old gal. You're in for it, pal. Older maids. <laughs> on your turn, click to take one of Constance's cards. Then she'll take one from you. Match because you're married. Beauty before age, my dear. You go first. Pick a card already. I don't know if the watching of the cards are gonna matter. You ain't cheating over there, are you? I can pick cards in my sleep. I knew today would be a lucky day. Too old to play mind games, just take a card. It's gonna pull a fast one on us, I just know it. Get too cocky there, kiddo. These eyes don't see as well as they used to when I bought them off that plague doctor in the mid to late 18th century. Just how old am I? None of your dang beeswax. I got my own beeswax to worry about, you know, from the back bees. Anyway, the event is tonight. Me and my sister Rue are both gonna be there. What more do you need to know? Sister Rue? Now get the heck away from me and stop staring at my cards before I give you a knuckle sandwich. 
that's Pig Knuckle, which I bought from a great butcher in the back alley behind the Sizzler. It's real good, so I don't want to share. Back alley behind the Sizzler. Sizzler. Back alley behind the Sizzler. Sizzler? Is that like a clue? Would I be aware of that? Okay, so this person, Mandy. I mean, m the guy knows Mandy, but he just twangs at this point. And this guy is just a rando that likes listening to him, so we can't really get Mandy's ID. We need three more gators. Rue, Mr. Rue. This is where I'm gonna get fucking destroyed. Let's do this game first. I'll we'll probably do the harder games first. But we'll do the two easy ones first. Kind of backwards this time. Oh, I mean, we are in a different universe, right? Multiverse theory. I never had Dr. Soda bug cream. Sounds disgusting. I haven't gotten any messages from the mysterious dude at all. I feel like we're running out of time. She had a game too. Alright, his game made no sense but wasn't hard because it was like bugged or something. Also, after I talk to him, I need to see if I can find the guy inside. I need to pay attention to the sizzler. What is the sizzler?
seems to be working better this time. Alright, we got like this long delay period. Oh yeah, what did Marty not like? Dude, Marty. I haven't had to use the third tool at Aura. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Your boy is in danger. This is Pat again. Talk to any of them. These are the final like four hours that we get. Well, three. This dude, this dude didn't have a game, but uh, we got his info. I don't know if there's enough time to play every game. I don't think there is. Actually. This game right here, this scene still... I'm still suspicious of this scene. Like... I don't know. The fact that you can just drag this until you get to the door and then you can't anymore. Is it just supposed to be for fun? Very suspicious of this scene. Alright, we have to get the shoes again. I think this is the last time we're gonna go through this. I don't know if we're gonna find every detail. I don't know if you can lose this game now that I think about it. Just check everything at least once. If you won't become overly anxious. If I'm the one who's gonna kill him, why am I investigating his own death? Let's put Granny in the tree. We're missing two. Three. I think we're missing three. This is Great Granny. Is she the centerpiece then? It's her family tree? Not. Uh, 
Oh, I haven't gotten any text messages from the guy. Got the meats from behind the sizzler. Oh, here we go. Good old Clance. Well, there's someone knocking. You can come inside. Oh, hello there. I don't usually get visitors in a control room like this. It's actually quite nice to have some company besides the various rodents ardently trying to eat my feet and ankles. Probably company told us conductors to start taking rat poison foot baths before coming into work in the morning. Poison. Well, you know what? All that did was anger the rats and give me trench flipper. You know the trolley health plan doesn't cover trench flipper. Or gout. Which is why I had to stop bringing my usual fried ham bones in for lunch. I miss that humorously oversized lunchbox. Not my humorously oversized joints. Who are you, bud? Call me Clancy. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Unless you're in here to rob me. In which case, I'd ask you kindly not to take the dollar I have in my breast pocket. That's for my afternoon old man licorice snack. I don't have that, I'll turn back to a pumpkin. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. I don't want to chance it. Alright. You know about Pat? Pat, my grandson. Funny fellow, that. Always wearing his little hats and bandana. It makes him really recognizable, though. You know, like for marketing and such. Funny fellow, that Pat. Everyone says Pat is a weird guy. The event. Now hold on, even an old man with my memory remembers he's not supposed to be spilling the beans. My wife Rue told me quite clearly that I'd be in the doghouse if I did, and it is really uncomfortable out there and full of dogs. What's your mini game, Clancy? Say, I could use a youngin' like you's help with a little problem I'm having. Maybe you could do me a favor. I was going through my trolley instruction manuals. And I found a few flyers were torn up from the last time Rue put me in the doghouse. You know how dogs like to rip up things like manuals, homework, stable marriages. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to restore them, but the pieces could be all over town now, by gum. Since you're already snooping around for Patrick, could you keep an eye out for trolley manual pieces as well? Assemble the pieces before the train ceases. Streetcar mailed his flyer. Mains his flyer. Click and drag the puzzle pieces to form a full picture. Don't have all the pieces, they're scattered throughout Alligator, New York City. What do you mean they're scattered throughout? Remember, always let everyone off. Looks real nice. Just some work to be done though. Click that arrow if you want to move on to the next flyer. Always click back to see the previous one if the spirit moves you. Maybe you can do something with this as well. It doesn't go with any of my flyers. Oh, 
come back anytime you want. Well, we got the new area now. Still some pieces missing, it seems. Why, hello again, stranger. So, I'm missing pieces. And I get to play the game again. This is a different one. Filling up the trolley, I knew I was forgetting something. Bugs and barters, you may have just saved this little trolley conductor's career. Ah, you mean I was missing pieces? It's for the event. I'll be transporting most of the family there myself on the trolley to help set things up. Things take a little time, you know? I'm sure you'll see when you get there. Thanks again for all the help. Say, isn't this your stop? Come back anytime you want. The rest of the puzzle pieces should be here. To my new friend. Sometimes it's really hard for me to get my thoughts out through my snoot rather than on paper. I'm sure you've already noticed. Really appreciate you taking time to read this in the text I sent you to. I know it must have seemed out of the blue to get them. Truthfully, I was just so lonely when I saw your numbers on the scrap of newspaper behind the cans here that I dialed, but all the information I've been torn away. I don't know who you are, but I guess that's fair since you don't know who I am either. Thing is, I've not tried to talk to anyone else for such a long time, not since Sarah passed away, really. She was all I had in the world and all I needed to. It's funny how sometimes you have everything, and then in an instant things change. Everything is different. Everything is sure different now about Sarah. I spent a lot of time not moving forward, actually. Talking to you today, telling you things about the city, it really made me feel like I could try to. Like if I went out in the sun, it would still be there. Even if Sarah won't be. The kites would still fly with colorful tails. Alligator Chinatown would still smell like baking chestnuts, and even the river would still be flowing ever forward. Just like time, just like me. Thank you for not pushing a stranger like me away when I reached out. It meant more to me than you might ever know. Wishing you the best, your friendly city guide, Danny. I don't have a lot of time left. 5.30, I guess we have some time. It's a puzzle piece. Two characters here, I don't see any other puzzle pieces or clickable thing. Then we have a doorway. And I guess this is the same thing. I wasn't sure if it would be. Is there a back to this little letter? Alright, we'll talk to Shifty McShifterton over here first. Anything? Why does the light hit up here? Oh, got another puzzle piece. I don't know if that was there before I turned the light on. Gary, hey buddy, you want to see something interesting? You look like an alligator of good taste. I can tell just by the very visible expression you're giving off. 
Gator of high caliber. Luxury few can afford. I may have just what you're looking for, my friend. See this coat here? Nice, right? Got it at the Creeps Warehouse semi-annual sale. I have some interesting wares inside it. Well, it's my bus pass. Which is less interesting, but has a fun, puffy sticker of a hot dog on it. But yes, my wares. Things you've never seen, things you may never see again, things you wish you could see again but can't because I'm busy doing laundry or watching TV shows about superheroes. You may be wondering, is he wearing clothes under there? And the answer to that is sort of, but that's besides the point. Alright, who are you? Let's just call me Gary for now, yeah? Good old Gary, trustworthy Gary. Gary ain't never heard a fly. I mean, like, for a sport, I always eat any fly I hurt, you know, circle of life for bug-eating alligators and all that. Alright, you know Pat? Pat? Pat the alligator? Yeah, I know him. We ain't family or nothing, but we took a pottery class together at the YACA. Nice guy, kinda twitchy though. We keep in touch on ICQ. Okay. Of course Gary knows about the event. Gary knows about everything going down in Alligator New York City. Events, meets and greets, get-togethers, Jack and Jill baby showers. Gary knows about all that stuff. Why does Gary know all that? But, Gary ain't no squealer. If you want info, you're going to have to do a little something something for me. You know, like playing a little mini game that I cooked up for you. So, would you look at my paintings? I'm trying to get into art college. <laughs> it's always, it's not worth it, man. Take it from me. It's always been my dream to draw pictures for a living and reside under the poverty line, crying a lot. Yeah. I mean, you can just do that without going to college, and you, you can do that and not be in debt. I've been practicing on my own copying the old Gator Masters, but I just can't seem to get it quite right. If I show you the real painting and my forgery, could you point out what I got wrong? It really helped get some honest critique. I could sob softly about later on my loft bed. So, will you look through my portfolio? A novice is seeking constructive critiquing. Artist's Alley. I will play. Plot the difference between the original painting and Gary's forgery. Click on each difference you find. Click on Gary to switch between painting. First, I'm gonna show you a beautiful painting. And when you've seen enough, click me to see the other painting that's also very good. Switch back and forth as many times as you like. When you spot a difference, click on it. But if you get three wrong, my feelings are really going to hurt. Ready? Let's go. So should I not spot differences? Okay, what's with the... is that just like paint brushes that he has? Alright, let's get started here. There you see a difference. Why does he have to flip himself? That is a difference. Uh, it looks like his eye is a V shape. Oh, okay, well, I should stop that. Alright, the kids aren't here. Guys drowning in the lake. Two more, huh? That. Oh, 
Amazing, you have the eye of a true artiste. But that was my earlier work. Can you spot the differences in Dorian Gary's triptych period? Gary, man, if you would just like actually look at what you're painting, I'd say you're a damn good artist. You're just adding unnecessary changes. Because, I don't know, you're mental like every other alligator in this godforsaken city. I actually don't see any difference on the left, so I guess I should look somewhere else. That's a tough one. I wasn't a hundred percent sure if that was the flower pot I was changing. Oh, I wish my dog was not working. Let me bark you for a while. Chat is like on top of this and I cannot see it very well. If there is a difference. I would think the difference is over here somewhere, but I don't know. Oh it is. I figured it should be. There's one more? Fuck. Um... Why do you have to shift? I don't see it. Gotta be something stupid off here. Gary. Gary, what did you change, Gary? Wait a minute. I don't think it's on the left. I don't think it's on the left. I mean, is that on the middle or the right? Let me move my chat box real quick to the left. And maybe see better.
Oh my god, I <laughs> did not did not look at those windows. <laughs> like, oh uh, Jesus, I knew it was gonna be obvious. I knew it was peace. Okay. Good artist. <laughs> They're like spot on accurate. This adds random shit. I wasn't sure if that was correct or not. This cape is different. Kinda hard to tell now that this giant fucking check mark in front of it. Where's the fifth one? We need one more. Oh wow, thank you for all the feedback. I can't wait to incorporate it into my next painting series. You know, I was thinking of switching over to drawing cartoons, but you really convinced me to stay the course on painting and not throw my life away. <laughs> Gary feels new lease on living event. Oh, right, right, the event. Thankfully, it is my first professional gig. Drawing the invitation and all. Pat's Ma even paid me ten whole dollars for it, which is five dollars higher than my listed online commission prices. You're cheap, man. Gary's really moving up in the world. Anyway, friend, looks like I'll be seeing you tonight. Till then, watch yourself. I wish reality was like this. Like if I went into an old abandoned subway area, met this character, and we hit it off because he's a goddamn artist and he really just wants the critiques on his paintings. Well, at least it went into the trash. Kinda wish there were a few more like random tidbits in the game. Click on. It was fairly straightforward experience overall. What's up, Ruben? Ninth Street Station hasn't been open to the public in a few years now. Not since the flooding unearthed the ruins of an ancient pizza rat society. They were already in the Iron Age and everything. Wow. I'm the only guy in the job fixing up this place, or else it would probably have reopened sooner. That's Mayor Wibblyfin for you. Probably putting all your tax money into more hip themed ice cream shops instead of Reuben over here. Out of mind being the only one working here. 
can't say it gets lonely what with the hum of the soda machine and the sounds of the rat forge, carped pizza and all that. We even could use a candy bar. <laughs> Bet you could. But it's still him. What do you say now? Can't wait to post these on my blog. Alright, so where do we stand at? I'm missing a ton of puzzle pieces somewhere. One more family badge. We have one more door to walk in. And there's plenty of time left, I think. A coffin down here? Oh, well, there's a puzzle piece. I'm not gonna leave this room for a while. Big Mama. Come closer. Yes, let me see your face. Made it so far to come here. Then again, I've learned that everywhere you go, that's the farthest you've ever gone. Boy. Big Mama in a coffin. Whom are you? I'm as old as time itself. You're not ready to yet know the depths of my being. Sure. Alright, you, you know Pat, perchance? My great-grandson. Fruit of my loin. Fruit on the vine. Boy, that phrasing. You know anything about his birthday party? A mere drop in the great pond of self that lives within each one of us. Fear not the ripple that grows within. If it is fate that discourages you, let the cards be your guide. Would you like me to play a game, madam? Oh god, I'm an old maid. Wisdom comes from knowledge. To learn more, you must come closer. Sit, light the candle. Oldest maid, <laughs> heed her calls and smell mothballs. My god. Face your future. Hmm. Question mark here? I just want to see if I can click anything else. I wasn't expecting this. Ah, see how the flame breaks the darkness? Light provides one a new perspective of the time and space in which we are granted this fleeting moment together. I will deal the cards. I will wait. The future's in your hands, young reptile. Choose. Well, I don't know if it matters which one I pick. Can I douse the fire? So, obviously there's three cards here. They look the same. And I guess it's that simple, nothing more to it. I don't know if it's gonna be like... It matters or it doesn't, I hope it doesn't, because I don't want to do it all again. That one on the right, you must be a fearless soul, but you should tread more carefully. Difficulties in your life may contort you, but you are strong enough to twist back the wrestle. Uh, are we looking at all of them? Good second choice. When you are my age, you'll find comfort in randomness. Find to let fate guide your hand. Landlocked, you're out of your element, but you can adapt and thrive. And if not, you can always go home. Okay, the last card is often the cruelest. Let's see. Camouflage. Lie low, observe, plan. When the time is right, your coming out will take everyone by surprise. What does it all mean? 
Nothing, perhaps. After all, you've been able to make your own destiny until now. You seem like a good egg, but your future is full of joy. Let an old lady give you a little something just for taking the time to stop by for a chat. Lol, oh, jeez. May these words be a talisman you carry across your heart. Is this gonna just change what our character does? Can I talk to you again? What's up? The past is a lie. The present is a promise. Change is the only cost. She kicked me out. Alright, there seems to be nothing else to click. So I am missing. I have to talk to her to get out, I guess. I have all the family badges. I'm missing like a lot of puzzle pieces though. Don't know where they would be. I'll do one last look see over here. Some of the puzzle pieces you got from like talking the thing. Let's go to the fun district and finish the family tree. Still some pieces missing. I don't know what he's like telling me to collect. Or is this going to be a different puzzle? This one's different too. How many times am I supposed to finish the puzzle? <laughs> okay, this one's definitely incomplete. Charlie has aspirations for the future. How can you nurture them? Oh, these are the puzzle pieces! Duh! So yeah, one, two, three, four, five. I'm missing five more puzzles. Alright, well... Just to conjecture some things, the trolley needs bugs for fuel. We know where he can get bugs from. Why does this make him look so evil? Aw oh, man. I won't be able to find these last few puzzle pieces before we're done. Means I'd have to go through another loop. Pat. Hey. Hey there, it's Pat. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 I wanted to finish putting the things in the tree. get one from him. Really? I think I'm missing four. And this one... I think we got one from him earlier, but that's done. Alright, well, let's see what happens. There's nothing else in the nighttime kitchen, right? I don't think there'll be anything else in the hallway minigame that's coming up. 
not sure if there's anything here. <laughs> Look at this guy jive. <laughs> Alright. Can I get anything while it's dark? Do I even have to give him a flashlight? <laughs> hmm. Doesn't seem like I can do anything else. Alright, this game... Oh yeah, right, don't go that way. This way, it's down, it's the main room, it's down, even further than this. Oh, did I ever look at that one before? I don't think I ever saw that one. Weird that we guide him through this. I am curious if you need to find something in there. <laughs> Alright, where's the coffin? <laughs> there she is. So we have everybody this time. Let's talk to them all. I guess we'll start back here at the kid. And they always say the same thing. I knew I saw something special in you, but your time is not yet over. Do what you must, but must you do? There's still a chance to set things right. Alright, you can look at my cards, but don't go around telling everyone you meet about it, capiche? They knew I let you look at my cards. Every girly loom, Bobby, who's a do, would be coming over here trying to get a peep. Don't let the greater public masses look at my cards. Censor. Okay, so they always say the same thing. You made amends with him. Don't talk to Pat yet. We need to talk to everybody else, I guess. This guy is interested in us. This dude doesn't want to be told that he's really a coward. Much gratitude for the help earlier, youngin. Thanks to you, the only dog house I'm sleeping in these days is a metaphorical one. It's made of two twin beds pushed opposite sides of the room. <laughs> Dad said, Dennis he's getting a little too little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got the mother. Got this dude. Got this person. Got this person. Got this guy apparently was invited. Ow oh, man, I helped you out like two hours ago in game time. Can't wait to disappoint my parents in untold ways. Okay, that guy. That girl. This girl. This guy. The bird, this guy. Alright, we 
with that grandma. Wants us to take her to an actual party. These people. Valentino's side. Dad, baby, quartet. Does that cover everyone? Yeah, I guess that does. I'm gonna see what happens now. I don't. Is there anything else to click? seem to be alright <clears throat> Pat you're probably gonna die again because I missed some puzzle pieces Right, this part. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if this is supposed to be just for shits and giggles or what. The only thing that I picked up on really was we have black glasses that looks exactly like that. Yeah, they were full. I think it was this pair, not this pair. We have this. Does anything else that describes their character? I assume it would be... These are the other characters' hairs, right? A cowboy hat. anything else that I picked up on that would describe our character because the one time you see him he's completely in shadow on the face oh, there you go all done welcome to the family There's probably not even something to, like, trying to figure out what your guy actually looks like. That's probably not how it works. All done! Oh shit, we gonna kill him again? We can still make a choice, it says. I don't know if I can click here. No, 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 I, I wanna click the other option. Don't even give him a hug. <laughs> oh wait, we got more. Why would we even bother pushing him in the first place? Wow, I can't believe you were a hitman that had a change of heart at the last second and pulled me up to safety. Wait, I love you. Gotta look at Pat's place. I especially can't believe I accidentally hired my own hitman to kill me on my birthday. And now you're here at my house for tea. What an increasingly large pool of unlikely circumstances congregating. Really though, you won't believe how this all happened. 
Why was this last week when I made that fateful phone call? <laughs> One who can kill any guys you need. Call me for murder help. <laughs> In the classifieds. I am ill, guys. Need me help. Leave a detailed description of who you is. Oh my gosh, I have to help. <laughs> Bachelor of Hit Gator Sciences. <laughs> Hi, Pat is four feet tall with two actual feet. Cool hat, great bandana from Alligator, New York City. Birthday on the 16th. I hope you feel better. Love you. Bye. The fuck? I still can't believe I was the one who hired you. I guess it serves me right always being scared of someone out to get me. Really, the only one out to get me in the end was me. Man, we should have pushed you <laughs> off the thing. That's like super mondo deep deep. I defo gotta tell Dr. Duple Snoop about this breakthrough next Tuesday. At the end of the day, all of these alligators have serious mental problems. Anyways, all I can say is cheese and crackers. I'm glad you have a heart of gold in there. And arms of gold with which to save a falling alligator. Up, dude. Oh, hey, Rumi. This is the hitman I accidentally hired to rub me out. Can you believe I did that? It's not hard to believe it was you all along. Your brain's like a sieve and you're kind of a ding-dong. Everyone thinks you're an idiot. I hope you liked meeting my whole family. Did so much for all of them. I'm about to want to throw you a surprise party. Hey, I know. You guys want to take a quick photo together? This has been the most stressful birthday I've ever had, and I want to remember that stress forever. Yeah, and probably will in therapy. Oh, look at us, all friends all not getting rubbed out or hiding in their favorite hotel rooms. Anything I can interact with here? So ends our tale at the hotel with friendship. Nothing greater, and so I bid you farewell and see you later, alligator. Vandy, you said it, you said the thing. I said the thing, ah. <laughs> Everyone did avoid that, I suppose it was bound to happen. It's like eerily silent with no music. I don't know. <laughs> ah, great, super good. Well, they took our appearance then. Was that all? So what do you get for the puzzle pieces? Oh, I want to know. I'm not going to get them all myself, but we'll look it up. We'll look it up, maybe. The internet probably knows. There you guys go. We got a good ending later, alligator. This guy's family is messed up. The music was good. Not the most sophisticated point and click game. But it was it was fun. It was a good distraction. I originally wanted to check it out because when I saw the trailer, the animation on the alligators is really fantastic. Really nicely animated. Alright. <sighs> I'm gonna close out my stream here for the afternoon. Thanks for watching. But before I go, if you wanna know what the puzzle pieces are for, I do too. I don't feel like finding the rest, though. I'm just gonna see if it does anything. Puzzle pieces and family bridge. Or badge. This lists all of them, but does it tell you what it does when you get them all? Alright, for anyone else that wants to know how to get 9th Street, you have to beat Nana Roo at Old Maid, beat Babyface Constance at Old Maid, 
and then solve good old Clancy's first puzzle. That's all you had to do. And it doesn't say what it gets you though. This is just copy pasta of the list. Completed puzzle piece tip. This is also all I see is people providing tips on where the pieces are. I don't see anyone talking about what it does. Puzzle pieces are used to assemble motivational puzzles for good old Clancy. Is that all it is, or just motivational puzzles? Uh... Alright, so the one I'm missing is part. Everyone's talking about Sleepy Pants, the sleeping guy. A lot. I don't know if I got that one. I think I need to talk to him all the way at the beginning of the game and then again at the end of the game. Why is there nothing? That says... What happens if you get all the puzzle pieces? <laughs> I guess nothing happens. Oh well. If I figure it out, I'll uh, I'll mention it in whatever my next stream session is, which will probably be back to the super side quest. Now there's a, if you like point and click games, there's another more sophisticated one coming out soon called Black Sad, and I do plan on picking that up. So if you guys are interested in Black Sad, which I don't know anything about, but it looks cool, we're gonna probably play that when it comes out in a few days. It comes out on the 14th, something sometime next week. I think, or the 12th? It might be the 12th. But we're gonna play it soon. But anyway, I'm gonna go for now. Thanks for watching. I'm just noticing, excuse me, I'm just noticing I dropped 22,000 frames at some point. I don't know when that sucks, but... Oh well, I can't do anything about that. Anyway, hope you all have a good afternoon.